Hello, chatters. What up, boys? Hello. Hello, hello. How do you guys do today? Let me turn down the music a tad. Can you change your shirt? No, I like this shirt. It says, be kind. And it's like about bees. Nice. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 it's going to be like Robin Hood, but instead of stealing from the poor and giving it to the rich, I'm just going to rob a man. That's it. I'm just going to steal from a man. Every day, shamelessly, I will literally rob this man until he has nothing. Because he has taken the only thing that I want, which is a fucking award for being special. What do I have outside of the streamer awards? Couple mil, cute girlfriend. Fine! But what do I have? Like, when you when you take all that away. Nothing! You guys, come on. Let's be real. Oh, come on. You're basically one foot out the door as is. Do you really want to sign up with being what I have left? You're one foot out the door. Don't lie. Half of you are hovered on a video on the sidebar ready to leave me. All right, let's not pretend. Let's not fuck around and be like, oh, Ludwig's the bully in this relationship. You fuckers treat me like a goddamn commodity. I'm just a bump of virtual cocaine, and when it doesn't hit as hard as it used to, you're gone. So goddamn it, if I have to get my cocaine supply from Doug Doug and steal his shit so you stick around, then so be it. That's the job, baby. With that being said, boys, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. It's been a few days. A lot has happened. Streamer awards. I shit myself for an entire 24 hour period. Turns out I didn't end the stream because I had a mild stomach pain. I ended because I was poisoned by food and that fucked me up. Talk about minx. No, I don't give a shit about that stuff. You're in the wrong stream, brother. I'm here to make pog tent. Okay, while your favorite streamer puts drama in the title, I'm above that sort of shit, okay? What were you talking about? What are we doing? No, I hate the new Coconut Mall. I think it sounds so... This sounds so bad. Is it just me? This, this sounds terrible to me. This sounds like some dainty-ass Cinderella Disney version of it. Yeah, give me... Fuck it. Fuck yeah, baby. It's just something nice about that. They like Disney fight it. They Disney fight it. But not the good Disney fi like, you know, Lion King in all of Pixar. Like the bad Disney fi when they make a, 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 a real action movie out of a cartoon. Anyway, how's it going, chat? What's up? What's up? What's up? Streamer awards happened. They were fucking dope. Uh, I won, best event, I lost, League of Your Own. One for two, we'll take it. One for two's not bad. One for two's okay. Come on, that's not bad, right? That's not bad. You know? Hey, better than better than Peyton Manning's postseason record, right? One for two, 50% of the time I'm winning. Oh, come on. 50% is failing? Well, that's not one way to look. You know, let's, let's have an open mind. The KFC ad was pretty dope. That is true. Shout out Nick and the crew at Mogul Moves. 
and everyone who worked on that. What else happened? What else happened? Oh my god, I had a run-in with Bill Clinton, kid. I had a run-in with the Bill Clinton kid at Streamer Awards. Hold up, I'm mentioning to the entirety of my Discord that I'm live right now. <laughs> live letting everyone um, buy stocks with my money. Dude, the stocks already. <laughs> when any when anyone types in all caps, I always think of it as like the guy from SpongeBob who's like Oh brother, this guy stinks. That's what somebody in all caps and chats like. Oh brother, this guy stinks. And I'm just sitting here, I'm just trying to like I'm just like doing my routine on stage. Just being like, "Hey, yeah, this is what happened in my weekend." It's like, get the fucking show rolling! Uh, anywhere. Any, fuck, anyway. Shit. I've lost my touch. Uh, anyway, I had a run-in with the Bill Clinton kid. The Bill Clinton kid, famous for bombing the Game Awards. And saying, I nominate this award to Bill Clinton's rabbi. Which maybe sounded slightly anti-Semitic, but if you boil it down, it's actually just a hunk of bullshit in a sentence that was uttered for the first time by any human. He was at the Streamer Awards. Now, shout out to the Streamer Awards, not to dog any other award show where this kid broke into. Top-notch security. Kid was stuck outside. No shot of getting in. Which, you know, I feel like that is the level of security I would hope is preventing a 21-year-old from being able to make it onto an establishment. Bill Clinton kid's there, though, and he's outside. And I was given a little bit of a heads up because I had heard down the grapevine that there was some weirdo outside that was just yelling like, Hassan! Hassan, which either means Austin Ox is trying to get in with a little bit of clout, or it's one of the many people that hate that motherfucker because he bought a nice house. <laughs> so I wasn't sure which was which, but I had to unload some shit from the award show. So I go outside. I'm starting to unload some shit. I parked in like the public parking structure because I didn't think about it. I drive a fucking Jetta. I, I, I just put that shit wherever. I don't like I don't my car's not valuable, so I don't care where I park it. No one's going to break into that shit. There's nothing valuable in there. I have like 8,000 Starbucks cans. So I'm going to like the public parking lot. I'm lugging a bunch of shit around. And I see this guy in a Boba Fett mask. And that's the guy who's going, Hassan! And he looks 412 max, soaking wet. And I'm like, non-factor. Keep walking. Unload the shit. I have to go back inside to get some more shit. And I unload it. As I'm walking back outside, this guy has suddenly changed his tune. He's wearing a Boba Fett mask. And he goes up to me, phone out, and he's like, he's like, hey man, can I get a picture? And and very quickly, I I without looking at him, I go, no, you're good. And he kind of go, like confusedly dejected, goes, huh. And he was with a, I think a group, or there's a group of people around him. They start laughing at him, which he didn't really like. And so I think as almost like a fight or flight, he went right back to like, Hassan. And I go through, and I just go, and I make my way. And I and that was my experience, a pretty mild experience. But I, it turns out, got out, you know, relatively safely because some people didn't make it out of there as safe, and some people is Jarma. Uh, Jarma was walking through and had this unfortunate reaction where he. Uh, message, like a little message to his son. Look, I like your I'm here with. I don't know who you are. Oh, he doesn't even know who I am. He's making videos. What are you gonna do tonight to his son? I am going to relax and get a nice. Son, I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna go home and get a nice massage from. A, you have, you ever, have you ever met a son that piece of shit or no? I, I I've met Hassan before. And I you don't, don't like him at all. That's what you told me. No, that's not what I said. You want to just confirm? He's a liar. Confirm. He's a liar. I didn't. <laughs> it's like, dude. Okay, I know Germa's like like part of his shtick is that you can say anything in chat, and if Germa happens to read it, he will react. With the most genuine reply to it, sometimes shocked, sometimes confused. Example, Jerma could be streaming like uh, 1989, you know, uh, uh, fucking Windows game. Before Windows even came out, I don't fucking know. 1989 Atari game, whatever the fuck. Spider-Man 1, the original, on PS2. And then somebody in chat could be like, you look like an apple. I could split you with my hands. And he'd read it, I'd be like, you look like an apple, I could split you with my hands. 
I don't look like an apple. I'm not. I'm not. You could not split me like. And then you like stop and think about it. And when he does it on stream, you think to yourself, oh man, I love this guy. Man, he, I, I love him for this. He, he takes anything as genuine. He's just rolling with it. But then he does the same shit in real life. So I'm starting to think it's not him running fun bits with his chat. I'm starting to think that he only has the ability to reply genuinely to anything stated. Because here he is being, there's no other word for this, harassed by this Bill Clinton kid where every single interview question is cut off with, and you hate Hassan. And Jerma's sitting there like, no, this kid's a liar. This kid's, nope, uh, this kid's a liar. I, I do not hate us. That's not what I said. And folks, we've got him right here. We've got him by, we've got him by his bootstraps, folks. You didn't say that. I mean, no, that's not what I said. You want to just confirm? He's a liar. Confirm. He's a liar. I didn't say that. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> like a little message to his son, look. So that's his worst nightmare. That's the worst nightmare if you're, if you're German 985. There's also a crazy picture of Jerma that came out of it. This is the one that the Bill Clinton kid took. Where <laughs> it looks like an AI painting. It looks like AI painting DSLR camera flash taken by paparazzi of celebrity leaving the Oscars. <laughs> and uh, and it's it, but it's it was a real picture. It was a real picture. That's the that's a fake edited one. Look, I'm not getting get into the weeds of the real and the fake ones because the fact that I, I, I I'm I'm already lost. I'm already too deep in lore. I I don't need a. Oh, sorry, I found the real one. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, that, that was my run in. That was my run in with the law. Outside of that, the award show was went swimmingly. Beautiful award show. All right, went great. Over half a million views. Across all the co-streams. I think Charlie was himself was at like almost 100,000 views. Um, dope. Cutie killed it. Wonderful. My award upstairs right now. Doug Lud. Yeah, I did say that to Doug Doug. I met Doug Doug. That was great. Ace, you mentioned the joke you made. To be clear, I didn't even make that joke. I don't think ACU looks like a school shooter. I've never thought that ACU looks like a school shooter. I've always said to myself, ACU's not a school shooter. I just happened to forward Michael Reeves saying he looked like a school shooter. But I'm not the one who said that. Why would you shoot them? I'm a journalist. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I sought truth and reported it. But when Jake Sucky does it, you give him the goddamn James Beard Award of journalists. Come on. Come on. There was 360. I think, uh, what was the peak on the main channel? 300 something K? 330K? I saw, I, I think, yeah, I think I saw... Online, I think I saw that the peak was like 560k total. I think there was like 200,000 people uh, co-streaming, and then there was another 350k on Cutie's channel. So crazy, crazy total viewership um, across everything. Do you hear what Aiden Ross said? No. <laughs> No, and I don't care. Beep, 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 beep. Bros just saying numbers. That's just the number I remember. I just looked at it on the stream. There's a category that you have to be under if you co-streamed it. So if you just looked at the total views of the category. It's not exactly rocket scientists here, brothers. If you had to make a category, what would you? I may oh, 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 an award category. I was going to say, I've made in a category on Twitch before. I made a category on Twitch before. But a, a category for an award? Uh, I think, I think maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I'm tooting my horn too much. But Cutie, I was talking to Cutie, and I, I, I think I came up with the Streamer Streamer Award. That was, that was my idea. I think that was my idea. Maybe I'm giving myself undue credit. That would be bad. I hope I'm not doing that. But I think that was my idea. That was my idea. I think that's a cool award. I think it's cool to be, like, nominated by peers. But maybe I'm taking credit and I didn't do that. I forget, to be honest. <laughs> I would do a best co-host award and put Maya in dead last, that rat bitch. <laughs> this is probably going to get to her. Cut it off when I'm laughing.
<laughs> I just, I just, I just, just got to take a shot. Sometimes I just got to take a shot at her. Who'd you vote for for streamer streamer? I'm not leaking. I'm not leaking. If I say it, it won't come true. Next year. Uh, do you play video games? Uh, yeah, we're literally uploading a video game video on the channel today. All right, where me and Stan's played the new Getting Over It game, multiplayer Getting Over It. So, also, we're gonna start the Ludlock soon. All right, that's another thing on my agenda. Hundred percent happening. Hundred percent happening. Ninety-five percent happening. Dante, Dante's great. Dante and I did. We recorded some shit together that I can't leak yet. So I actually have a pretty good rapport with him. Even though he kept saying, "Do you want to say it?" and I was like, "No, I don't want. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this." Is Clint still stream villain of this channel? Clint was never a stream villain of this channel. Did you see the quite drama stuff? I literally just watched Charlie's video on it. Did you also just watch Charlie's video on it? And now we're talking about it. Yeah, I watched Charlie's video on it. That's my the extent of my knowledge. I watched Charlie's video and then like ten minutes of Quite's video, and then I was like, "This is an hour forty, and I don't have an hour forty, unfortunately." But I did the thing that I always do when I read up drama. Like, I watched Charlie's video, and then I was like, oh, you know what? I want the juice. I want the source of this. So I watched Quite's video, and then I was like, ooh, while I was watching it, I started looking at Twitter, and then I was going to the person who said all the alleged shit, and I was like, what is, what is this? What's this fucker up to? And I was doing all this stuff, and then I was like, I'm too invested. I didn't know who this person was 20 minutes ago. I'm getting too invested. I have stuff going on in my life. I, I got to work on that right now. I'm supposed to go live. Let's just relax. Let's breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. You know? Sometimes I just get randomly invested in some shit. Not to say it's not important, but, you know, we're on a little ball that spins constantly and I gotta get some shit done so the rabbit hole can suck you in. Uh, other updates in my life. I've gotten back to watching One Piece after I caught up to Wano. Uh, I started watching it regularly, uh, and I can officially say I've given up on the anime. Even the Wano arc, I don't like the anime. I am fully manga-pilled. I, I just, you know what? It's, it's too slow. It's just too slow. Every episode's like, what, 24 minutes, right? And then the first, literally, four minutes and 30 seconds are recap. Like, the first 60 seconds is the intro, or 90 seconds is, like, the intro. Then they do, like, a two-minute recap. Then the recap ends, and it's like, ba da ba 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 Frankie sucks himself off. And then it starts, and then it's another recap for another 45 seconds. It, like, plays the last 45 seconds of the previous episode. And it's, like, Frankie being like, I'm going to pull out my dick and suck myself off. And then, and the problem with the anime... Is that every episode is dedicated to one of the side plots. Because the issue with One Piece is that there's too many fuckers. There's too many fuckers. We got like 15 motherfuckers on that crew right now. And they're giving them all equal screen time. They all have like some SAG, right, underwriting or obligations where they all need equal screen time. Kind of like The Rock and Vin, Vin Diesel in, in, in Fast and Furious. And so, you know, in some arcs, it's fine. In some arcs, let me read every story. But in other arcs, it's like, man, I, don't, I really don't give a shit what Robin's up to right now. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck that Zoro got lost and he's looking for a fucking sword that he dropped and he can't remember where it is. I don't give a shit. I don't care about Nami swinging her dumbass staff around, making lightning happen, and being scared of the things that happened after she got ousted of her job as a navigator because they have a fucking snow globe that does all the shit for her. I don't give a fuck about that. I just don't care. But when I'm reading, not caring is like, <laughs> done. Move on to the next part. And that, you know, it's almost fun. It's almost fun to like, I have a, a short little stint here, short little stint there. But in the anime... It's like the whole damn episode is dedicated to this side character side plot that is somewhat inconsequential, but like still canon, but like mostly inconsequential. So that's why I can't do the anime. It's not filler. It's literally not filler. It's main story. Also, the Oscars are rigged. 
I know, look, I, 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 I'm going to sound like a goddamn alt-right right now saying the Oscars are rigged after it was a fucking sweep for everything, everywhere, all at once. All right? And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a beautiful Asian domination. All right? 95th Oscars, where it was, they were crushing every, every everything, everywhere, all at once, crushing every category. That's great. Happy. Love that. Wonderful. Love the movie. Puss in Boots should have won. Sorry. Sorry. Puss in Boots should have won. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio? Are you kidding me? That snooze fest? Yeah, I get that it was like animated cutely and stop motion's difficult, whatever. Great. All right, ambitious. Sure. It's a fucking snooze fest next to the goddamn masterpiece that was Puss in Boots of the Last Wish. And it's like, I don't know how people could sit there and honestly accept all the results after what they did to Puss in Boots. How could they do that? How do they sit there pretending that this bullshit, probably top-down fucking rigged, you know, top-down, Hollywood foreign press, I don't stand for it. Puss in Boots, The Last Witch, I'm not kidding. Top 10 animated movie all time, maybe top five. That's kind of pushing it, but top 10, I, I, I don't even question that. I don't even question that placement. We might have, the. I, I don't know if there's a more W villain in any animated movie. I think it might be the best animated villain. I'm trying to think. I'm running through the list. What's number one? I, you know what? It's a bit normy. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it because you're going to be like, ah, oh, that's such a normy take. And now your whole entire opinion of Puss in Boots is thrown out the window. Like, I don't, I'm not here to justify my opinion with my credit of what my top five is. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Say it. It's spirited away. Fine. Fine. Oh, it's a bit normy. Whatever. 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 It's a complete universe that encapsulates your soul and it transports you to a new place. Sorry. Sorry. It has beautiful soundtracks. All right. And, this, and the cell animation is beautiful and it holds up to this day. Okay. It's a, sorry. It's a great. Sorry. It's great. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it normy? Sure. 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 But I'm happy it's normy. I don't want it to be deep cut. I want everyone to experience it. If I could make every human watch spirited away, I would do it. Bang. That'd be my second superpower. My first would be snapping so that anyone, one time in their life, if I know what they look like, would shit themselves. My second would be to make everybody watch Spirited Away. It'd be like a one time. Kind of like Thanos. And then, and then probably after that, maybe Wally. -E. I think Wally's -E Pixar's best. Yeah, I think Wally's -E Pixar. Maybe Toy Story for like nostalgia. Toy Story, like Toy Story is like I feel like it's probably deserves. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know which I do for Pixar. Probably Spider Man's probably top ten. I don't know where in this order it is. Spider Verse. Akira, Akira's there. Right? Not exactly sure where it is in this. Ratatouille? I love France. Eh, it's probably not there. I love Ratatouille. It's probably not there. Just being real. It's probably not. Maybe it's close, but probably not. Silent Voice? Didn't care for it. I did not. I didn't, I didn't hate it. It's not a top 10. No, did not care for it that much. Ridiculous. Top ten? Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's let's you know. Let's lower expectations there, right? Treasure Planet, not bad. Certainly not top ten. Watch Garden of Words. Garden of Words was created just so people could make aesthetic TikToks about beautiful anime. I I don't think there's another reason. I actually think they were time travelers. I've never seen it. I've only seen it through clip TikTok clips.
Your name? Nah. Meh. Not top ten. Weathering with you? Nah. Also not top ten. I don't think that. I don't think that director. I forget his name. I don't think he's made a top ten movie yet. I don't think he's done it. Maybe Garden of Words is it. Maybe I have to watch Garden of Words. And maybe that'll maybe that'll be it. Alright, chat. Anyway, to, we gotta focus. We got some shit to do today, alright? No, enough talking about animated films. Alright, no, enough, enough talking about films in animated films. Letting stream by $10,000 come by... I'll just say that. Come by $10,000 worth of... Worth of Come come by. Uh, get in here right now and give me a stock to buy. And then I'll do buying ten thousand dollars worth of stocks. Great. All right, chat. I want you to take a single guess of who I'm stealing from today. Because I thought of this stream idea where I'd let my chat buy $10,000 worth of stocks. Which was done by a famous streamer YouTuber. That's right, it was Mizkif. Yep, 11 months ago, Mizkif did this. Very good call to those who got it. He did 50,000 worth, but I thought, brother, I'm not rolling in that much dough. I got some bills to pay. <laughs> and then after that, Doug Doug bit Mizkif's shit. People don't talk about this. People like to be a little bit quiet about this, but it is true. <laughs> it is true that Doug Doug did it after. No shot missed my ear. Well, look, I think if we're being frank with ourselves, the idea of someone being able to beat the best stock traders in the world at buying stocks is is a is a long and tired anecdote. Michael Reeves has reinvented this by doing the I let my goldfish trade stocks, but I think there were monkeys that were trading stocks at a higher rate than most stock traders uh, in like the 80s and 90s. A cat did it. An apple did it. There's a million different stories of this exact idea. This is not at all a novel idea. But what is akin to an apple? A monkey. A goldfish. Basically, a, a lesser, in terms of intelligence, being than a human. My stream. And so today, boys, I am giving you guys 10,000 US dollars to buy stocks. At the same time, I will secretly be asking a very professional stock trader to spend 10,000. I am going to spend 10,000. And then we will have, of course, 10,000 in the general S&P to see by the end of the year, in about nine months, 2024, which of these four entities has performed better. Will you guys beat me? Will I end up crushing the professional stock trader? Will the S&P actually go up in a way that makes everybody in this country happy? These are all questions we'll find out by January 2024. But the test starts today. And I had to devise a way for you guys to be able to buy stocks in this stream. And I worked with my main man, Automated, to develop a way for us to run it seamlessly. Here's the rules. Now, of course, it has to be an objective test, which means we have a control, aka the S&P, and we also have a set of criteria that the three people purchasing stocks, me, the pro stock trader, and you guys have to follow. It goes as follows. 
everybody has $10,000. You have to spend $10,000, all right? It can't be more, it can't be less. You have to spend $10,000. You also have to spend $500 on each stock. It cannot be more, it cannot be less. So you're going to buy a total of 20 stocks, $500 on each stock for a grand total of $10,000 of value in the portfolio. That is the entire premise. We're all going to follow it. The stock trader has to buy 20 stocks at 500 uh, a piece. You guys have to, and I have to. This will make it so that nobody can go all in or, the, or, or you can't make it a, a special options trade. It's gonna be a very level playing field. Does that make sense? Uh, and also, just getting this out of the way, no crypto. No crypto. No crypto. This is a crypto list. This is just buying something you think will go up in nine months and selling it. No crypto. All right. Let me get the thing uploaded. So here's how it works. You guys might be wondering to yourselves, well, Ludwig, how do I tell you to get a stock? How do we actually make sure this is a communal effort with the entire stream choosing what stocks to buy? Well, I figured we'd do it the best way possible. Pure randomness. If you were to type buy and then use the ticker symbol, aka money sign, and then any stock symbol that follows, aka phase or Apple or Amazon, it will pop up on this screen here. And all of these will be considered submissions. After enough submissions have accrued, I can click start poll, which will randomly take two submissions from the pool of submissions to enter into a vote. A simple vote where popular majority will rule. And you guys are not only the people who pick the random stocks, you are also the people who will vote which of the two stocks we choose. Now there is an additional rule, no repeats. So if one stock happens to win, that is the only time it can be purchased at all. Now the poll won't immediately start after the options populate. We're gonna do a little bit of research into each stock to make sure we're familiar with what these are, and then we'll go forward from there. Sound good? Let's get to it. Name your stocks. If you guys don't know the symbol of your stock, you can go to Google, look up any company, and just look up like Apple stock. I I'm only saying Apple because I think they have the highest mark. They're like the most, you know, one of the biggest. Uh, but but uh, you can find out like what their stock ticker is, so that way you can participate in this. But literally anyone can. All it takes is the ability to chat. And if you're curious what the stock ticker is, super easy. It's just this. It's, it's going to say which stock, uh, where, where it's traded. So it's traded on the NASDAQ, and it's AAPL. All right. I think at 1,000 options, we'll do our first one. We'll wait for 1,000 options. Actually, let me, let me do chat like this today. This might be a little cleaner if I do this, and then this. All right, get your submissions in at 1,000. We're going to start the poll. Remember, we only have 20 stocks, so this is going to go by really fast. And after 20, we're done. There's no more. There's no less. All right, let's settle now. Settle now. And let's take a look at our stocks. That's it. That's that's the first two options you brought to me. You brought me meme stock AMC and then you brought me Roblox. Honestly, Roblox might not even be a bad call here. Well, let's take a look at how these stocks have done over the past few months and years. So we have our first stock. AMC. AMC 
is, if you guys are unaware, a meme stock. The stock price skyrocketed specifically during COVID-19 where movie theaters weren't being used. It was in fact their peak all time when their business was at their all time low. Since the meme stock uh, shot up, they have never ever recouped that original value. But they did maybe have an overcorrection downwards so if you look at the past year, they're down 60%, but year to date, they're actually up 38%. Now let's take a look at Roblox. Roblox, bit of a different story. They currently, uh, uh, um, actually almost the same story. In the past year, they're up 13%. Year to date, they're up almost 50%. I think Roblox's main business model, if I'm correct, is less based around how popular uh, or their sales are and more around like their open market community where anyone can create a game in Roblox and sell it and they get a, the, a piece of that pie. They basically have their own app store. Uh, and there are a shit, 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 shit ton of people who play Roblox. Uh, so this begs the question, chat. You guys get to vote now. Which one are we buying? One for AMC, two for Roblox. Vote on your phones. What the heck? It's not working. Am I crazy? Where's Otto? Where is this son of a gun? All right, Otto said the poll might have a little hiccup. So in the meantime, we'll just do this. Oh, it's back. Oh, and the polls are similar. <laughs> okay, it is back in a major way. And, and okay, all right. Well, generally, I'll try to wait for at least 1,000 votes in every single poll. But unfortunately, even if I waited for that and every single vote went towards AMC, we would still have a Roblox winner uh, by the time we hit 1,000 votes. All right, that is our first stock, and check this out. When I end the poll, it's already in here. So you can now see our total $500. Once we reach $10,000, this is over. Our first stock is Roblox. Now, I do have our professional stock trader on the side. All right, and it's important that for the entirety of this experiment, we don't know what the stock trader's stocks would be. So that way, the end result is a surprise. But... They just wanted to let you guys know that apparently Roblox has a lot of money tied up in a bank called SVB. Never heard of it. Silicon Valley Bank. Roblox. Yeah, apparently they had $150 million, but they apparently they'll for sure get it back. Apparently they'll, they're, they'll for sure get it back. It's already priced in, baby. It's already priced in. Not, not even worried about it. You guys aren't even worried about it. That's what I respect about you. Government's bail. Not even, not even, don't even stress. If anything, it's a good thing for Roblox. <laughs> if 
If anything, the fact that they're getting bailed out helps them. All right, get your buy and then money signs going. Uh, hold up, hold up. What's that other one? Um, not cornered. Phoenix Wright songs. If you guys don't know what to do, you just type in buy money sign and then the ticker symbol of whatever stock you want. RTX, Tesla, CMG, Riot, FRC, Pen, Dish, Lulu, SoFi, Sens, Tesla, AMD, Tesla, Riot, Riot, RTX. All right. Pull! Our two options are <laughs> Meta, Facebook's finest new name, Meta, or PepsiCo. Wow. This is a tough one. So on one hand, you have Meta, who I would argue has had the worst year anyone has ever had in the history of the stock market. And I would be wrong on that, but it's been pretty fucking bad. Wait, they've only gone down 3%? Maybe this shit's a steal. Maybe these guys are on to something good. Wait, maybe Mark Zuckerberg knows what's happening. It's priced in, baby. All I know about Meta is that, well, they did a lot of shit with, what's that thing called? The Metaverse. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and they spent how much money? Uh, Meta, Metaverse, price spend. Meta is spending a billion dollars a month on the Metaverse. They have spent $36 billion so far. Maybe that's a good thing, though. The fact that they had $36 billion to spend, like, you got to be doing pretty good. On the other side, we have PepsiCo. Now, Pep PepsiCo, they're, and, 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 and this is mild. Uh, this is mild. Like, we're talking 2016, you know. But they do have mild connections to child labor and worker exploitation in Indonesia. Also a bit of issue with the human con cost of conflict for palm oil. But the stock price is up. The stock price is up, baby. And the kids yearn for the mines. It calls to them. It 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 calls to them M much like much like performing calls to a performer. You know, so I, you know what? I don't want to sway you guys too much. We should just get on with it. Let's start the poll. Whew. Not the one I wanted. One for Meta, two for Pepsi. Type the number in chat of the stock that you think you should buy. It takes a little second to load because of, I think the servers get overloaded. Pause champ. Pause champ. Surely, surely it comes back soon. 
While I wait, though, I do have a question for you guys that I, I didn't go over. And I for, I totally blanked on this, which is my fault. But we, we, we're, we have to figure something out. What do you guys get if you beat us? What happens? We get the money, but isn't that a bad idea? Because you won't get the money for nine months and you guys buying right now won't be the people who show up to receive the money. How about this? How about this? Because we didn't go over the stakes. Let's cover them right now. I'm, I'm willing to get a little crazy here. If you guys end up not only beating me, but also beating the stock professional and the stock market, you go three for three over the course of the next nine months, I will let you choose a phrase or a word to tattoo on my body has to be a small word i'm talking like you know 20 year old bohemian styled girls first word that we can tattoo somewhere but only if you end up beating us and here's the deal if i win everybody nine months from now has to consider buying my swipe of days swipe of days it's the future Americans might be all keen to be pronounced the number one country on earth, or at least their parents will, but we've fallen off in a lot of ways. And one of the ways we've fallen off is that our assholes smell. And although in Japan, they're uh, really cutting the edge of, of technology with their butt sprays, and in Europe, they've been doing that for the past 500 years, and not even to mention what's happening in the Middle East, they've been doing that shit for even longer. America, we're not there yet. So everybody will have to get a swipe a day if I end up beating you guys. If the stock guy ends up winning, well, I'll let him keep the portfolio that I'll spend with my money. Or at least some part of it. And if the stock market wins, then that's what's supposed to happen, I guess. I honestly would. Well, look, I'm, all I'm saying is if I win, you have to consider. If you consider and then you leave with the idea that, oh, they're too expensive, then so be it. Auto, it's still not working. Feels bad, man. No, motherfucker. I refreshed auto because I thought that would fix it, but it didn't fix it. Now the stocks are gone. All right, we're going to do another chat poll. And it's between what stock do we get? Pepsi? Co? Or... Meta. PepsiCo or Meta chat, which one do we get? It's going to be a, a YouTube chat poll. A YouTube chat poll honestly usually incorporates more people because some people don't like typing in chat. They just like clicking button. So this works. All right, what is it going to be? PepsiCo currently in the lead with 2,000 votes, 70 to 30 right now. Meta not too far behind, but Meta honestly has a good outlook for 2023, some might argue. Some being people who think Meta is going to have a good outlook. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The last stock that I bought, I, 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 Germa told me about it. I don't know how to buy stocks. The last stock that I bought, let me take a look at it. I was at a dinner at a French restaurant and Germa recommended me to buy this stock called NVO. No, is that it? No, excuse me. It was ECVT. I'd never heard of it before, but he told me to get it. <laughs> this is real. I can't believe I did this. I got this. It was this. It's called EcoVist, and it's a company that does uh, manufacturing of specialty catalysts, materials, and chemicals. 
that that basically allow you to farm with less water. So they just try to make things that go into soil that require less water to grow things. So it's more fuel efficient and water efficient. And uh, and and so I and so I got it. And it's anyway, it's down 25 percent with no sign of going up. And actually, since I bought it, it's only been downhill. Um, but I'm thinking 2023 is our year, baby. 2023 is our year. It declined in the last week. Yeah, so 2024 might be more of our year. Anyway, shout out to PepsiCo for winning the poll. Next. And Otto, I don't know if you're able to add PepsiCo, but that'd be tight. All right, chat, go ahead and start suggesting your stocks. Buy in the stock symbol and then whatever stock you want it to be. Oh my god. It just came. All right, let's see it. These are our next stocks. We have <laughs> Tesla. Car company not actually created by Elon Musk, but he did buy it and and make it his baby. Or Coinbase. It's not Coinbase. It's Coinbase. Let's do a little research on these. Are we are we taking this serious? Are we taking this serious? I told you I would get a tattoo if you win. And I feel like we're not taking this seriously. Are aren't these bad choices? I'm not a stock guy. I'm not a stock. I'm not I'm a hee hee ha ha guy and occasionally talk about some drama that's going on in the world guy. Okay, you want to ask me about a YouTube thumbnail, and I'm going to have a B-tier assessment of that shit in no time, right? This is, this is, this can't, maybe it's good. I don't know. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So we have Tesla. Now let's just take a look at the year to date. From January to now, Tesla's actually up 61%. They're actually, wow, wow. Over the past year? Okay, all right, down 31%, but we're on the rise. We're, they're on the rise right now. Past five years, they're up 657%. So, you know, 2023 is 2023 is the year, baby. 2023 is the year. What about Coinbase? Year to date, Coinbase is up 76%. Wait, that's actually really good. Let's check the past year. Okay, similar amount down. Okay, they're down 81% in the past. F okay, they started actually in April 2021, so. Okay, well, you know. Okay, all right. Uh, great. So here's the... Um, and I don't, I don't mind sharing this with you. Well, actually, this might, this might sway you. I'm going to start the voting. Let's see if this poll works now. Oh, it does. <gasps> the ball works. It works. All right. Do your vote. I have the opinion of the professional stock trader, the stock guy here. But I'm not going to say it until after the votes have been done. I don't want to sway you guys. But to be honest, I don't feel like I can sway you in one direction here. Feels like we're picking the lesser of two evils right now. Okay. The poll stopped working. False alarm. The poll stopped working. What stock do we get? Tesla? Corn base. You said no crypto? Yeah, I said like no buying crypto. Buying a stock in a company that's a, a crypto trader is not the same thing. Obviously, right? I, with a little bit of critical thinking, you could arrive to the same conclusion that Coinbase does not count as crypto. And the faith of what I was saying is we're not going to buy crypto coins. Look at Tesla's beta. What the fuck does that mean? 
Tesla's beta. Huh? What am I looking at? I don't understand a thing that's on here. Is this a weather report? What's a beta? Don't people just buy random stocks that their friends tell them to buy? What's the point of all this information? Dude, what? This looks like a Japanese homepage. There's such a shitty amount of information. I can't believe Yahoo's still around. All right, well, the winner of the poll is Tesla. All right, hold up. I have to do some shit to get Pepsi on here. Hold up. I got to cook real quick. You guys can put in your stocks right now. All right. So we have our three stocks here. By the way, this is what the uh, the pro said about Coinbase and Tesla. Coinbase is going to move a lot in the bank run, but that's short term. Tesla will stay strong, but there's a lot of EV competition and China concerns and no tax credit. Tough one. So honestly, pretty good that your votes were close there. So far, every vote has kind of been a landslide. Although I do think you guys are voting emotionally. I'm pretty sure you guys voted for Tesla over Coinbase because you thought Coinbase equal crypto, crypto cringe. And, I, and maybe I'm wrong, chat, but I feel like that was the extent of your thought process. Which maybe is not a bad way to invest. You know, invest on what you don't think is cringe. Not a bad start. We'll see if it pans out in the long run, though. Anyway, let's check our next options here. Our next stock is... Whoa, we have two absolute titans in one corner. JP Morgan Exchange Traded Fund Trust. In the other corner, one of the largest tech devs in Silicon Valley, AMD. Let's take a look at the breakdown. Year to date, we have AMD up 28%. Over the past year, down 20%. Year to date, JP Morgan down 4%. Year to date, down 11%. Let's start the poll. One for JP Morgan, two for AMD. Word on the street is that JP Morgan is a fortress. All right. Well, the poll still seems to be fucked a little bit. But I think we have a pretty clear answer here. I'm probably going to use only Twitter or YouTube polls, but I think this... this. Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. It updated. It updated. There we go. There we go. It takes a little bit. 
I think it visually breaks, but it doesn't actually stop counting the votes. All right, chat. The votes are in. The winner is AMD. And here is our advice from the stock trader as far as which decision you guys made. Was it right or was it wrong? JP Morgan will survive this bank shitstorm and acquire some regional banks, but damn if their balance sheets get exposed. AMD is a monster, but concerns over the U.S. investing at home chips many hit their market share. May hit their market share. I can't even read the words this guy's writing correctly. All right, next. We are almost a quarter of the way through. We're 20% of the way through all the stocks that we are going to buy today. We're cruising through this year. And our next stocks that are meant to shatter even the greatest investor are... What the fuck is Caterpillar? <laughs> Caterpillar? Cat. Did you just do it because it has money sign cat? Is it just because it, it was it? Is that it? I have to believe. Are these the machines that you see? The big yellow machines that say cat on them? It does say scat. <laughs> cat or Disney. Okay. So first up we have cad. CAD traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And year to date, CAD is down 6%. Past month, it's down 8%. Past five days, it's down 11%. And today, it's already lost 1%. Past year, however, you're up 4%. Think about garbage. Construction, I think, not garbage. Everybody needs it. Uh, let me do a little bit of research on Cat for anyone who's unfamiliar with, with their game. Caterpillar is uh, uh, um, Caterpillar is an American construction equipment manufacturer. The company is the world's largest manufacturer of construction equipment. In 2018, it was ranked number 65 on the Fortune 500 and number 238 on the Global 500. Caterpillar stock is component of Dow Jones. Caterpillar traces its origin to the merger of Holt Manufacturer and the CL Best Tractor Company, creating the new entity, California-based Caterpillar Tractor Company. In 1986, they reorganized themselves in Delaware. <laughs> Classic. It was announced in 2017 that over the course of that year, it would relocate its headquarters to Illinois. Uh, now, its headquarters are located in Texas. It also sells a line of clothing and workwear boots under the cat name. And they sell phone cases? They have 109,000 employees. Okay. And the other is fucking Disney. Which, I think we all know what Disney is. But here's how they did in the past day. They lost a percent. In the past five days, they're down 8%. In the past month, they're down 13%. And since the year started, they're up 4%. And in the past year, they're down 28%. And in the past five years, they're down 11 per Wow. Okay. All right. What do you think? Which one is it going to be, chat? Vote on your phones. Wow. Wait, why is it so one-sided? You know, I, I know that Disney hasn't had the best year, but Disney is a goddamn institution. Can you guys tell me your logic for voting for cats? Excavators are cool. <laughs> Coots. I like cats. 
cat go meow. <laughs> Dividend stability. Boo! Get this guy out of here. <laughs> Fuck does he think? It's because cat go meow. All right. Well, the winner is cat. That's that. And it's not even close. Now, according to the Scott stock guy, Caterpillar is going to stay strong. Infrastructure package is massive and will keep them going, but the recession will halt building. Disney has a ton of upside, but streaming wars and lack of new content are bleeding the money. Also, the political fight going on with them and losing their tax break in Florida is giving some pause. Oh, right. Yeah, doesn't the governor of Florida hate... hate... I don't know, gay people? I took a shot in the dark on that one. I don't know if that's true. I know there was some beef with Disney and I think gay people and the governor at some point. But I only heard of this in like whispers. It was like a conversation that I'm barely listening to and it was like, gay people, Florida, Disney. <laughs> that's, that's about all I got. All right, end poll, and we're a quarter of the way through. Get your new stock tickers going, chat. Get your new stock tickers going. I saw the argument somewhere that I think it was, I think I, f I fucking, where was this? I think it might've been fucking Aiden Ross, to be honest, on his like original kick stream when he got booted off Twitch, but he was saying something to the effect of like, this is a total separate thought, by the way, I got, this got spun off because I was thinking about gay Florida people. But he was talking about, he was like, man, the Matrix and these blue hair people want you to subscribe to their agenda. And I think the logic was that, like, you know, you have to think a certain way and fall in line. And I want you to break out of the Matrix and understand the truth. And then I was there and I was like, who has done a better job at breaking out of the Matrix than like non-binary people. Because NBs in every aspect of their life, like the rest of us, are asked in various forms to fill out male or female. And the Matrix always says you gotta fill out male or female. And at a certain point, a motherfucker looked at male or female and said, nah. <laughs> And I was like, that's breaking out of the goddamn Matrix. I'll tell you what, not many people have thought, nah, no. To that question. Most people just were like, yeah, I was told I'm this thing, and that's I'm just that thing, so that's me for the rest of my life until I die. And that's 99.999% of people who have like ever lived on Earth. And I was like, I don't get why breaking out of the Matrix is conforming back to what you're supposed to do. That seems like the opposite. I don't think anyone's more red-pilled than non-binary people. <laughs> they might be the most red pill people around. All right, here's our two options. Shit, that's not the right one. <sighs> Home Depot or Amazon. Whoa. This is a battle. Waking up at 5 a.m. Driving my Dodge Ram. Sometimes sucking and fucking. That's what we do here at the Home Depot. We take care of you. Or fucking soy Amazon. 
part of the Twitch cabal that I think top down influenced the streamer awards to take my League of Their Own award away and give it to Doug Doug. Those sons of bitches stole it right out from under me. Those motherfuckers. So anyway, what, um, what, uh, without any bias, what one do you guys want to vote for? <laughs> So Home Depot, Home Depot, we can take a little look. Let's do a little research. Let's do a little research here. Home Depot over the past month is is down 10%. They haven't had the best month. Okay, they haven't had the best month. M maybe people aren't are, aren't building their homes up as much, you know? May, but, you know, I, I, I'm, just, I'm stretching here. I'm stretching. I don't know. I don't know shit. I know the Home Depot is where you go to buy things to fix and repair your home. But, you know... Like, not as many people are wanting to spend money on fixing their home or buying new homes, you know? Because, like, it's fucking, you know? It's, there, there's, it, the, 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 the freaking, the lumber costs and, like, the, 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 what's the thing that you have to buy homes with? Um, interest. Year to date, they're down 10%, and in the past year, they're down 10%. You almost have to marvel at their consistency. It seems like no matter what you look at, the Home Depot is always down 10%. Except over the past five years. And then the other one is Amazon. A titan. A institution in America. The people who spend every goddamn dollar they got back in the company to do some new shit. In the past month, they're down 6%. In the past or year to date, they're up 7%. And in the past year, they're down 34%. Okay, a little more, a little more tipsy turvy, a little more tipsy turvy. But this is them lifetime. So they haven't hit their highs that they had in 2021. But maybe they'll get back there. You know, it's freaking Amazon we're talking about, baby. Anyway, here's the question, chat. Which one do we get? Shit, I'm not trying to bias you guys. I just like that song. Je Deadass one or two. One or two. This is, a bit this is our closest vote of the As day. As you can see, I just went shopping at Home Depot. You should do the same. This wood, this board, this magnificent piece of poplar is now mine. Oh, yeah, that was fucking... Wasn't that the... Honestly, the stock might have crashed because Ben Shapiro posted that picture of him leaving the Home Depot with, like, two pieces of wood. It was one piece of wood in a bag. This might be the reason why their stock started tanking. I think after this, everybody went to Lowe's. <laughs> they were like, you know what? Just not my crowd. <laughs> not the people I thought that were shopping there. I was thinking a little more blue collar. Ooh, look how close this vote is. Okay, all right. We are going to do a race. Here's what's going to happen, chat. The first of these stocks to reach 666 votes will be the stock added to your portfolio. Vote! Vote, vote, vote! If you haven't voted yet, if you are lurking, now is your time to vote. If I'm on a second monitor in your Valo game, bro, you're spectating it anyway. Alt tab real quick and type one for Home Depot, two for Amazon. Two for Amazon, one for Home Depot. 666 is the number we're looking for. Bit of a double number, but it was also the closest round number that I could think of that wasn't that wasn't too far away that we could uh, feasibly get to. Because if it's too high, then we're not actually going to get to it. So vote for which one you want to vote for. 100 more votes for Home Depot. Amazon a little bit further behind. They're about 160 behind. Amazon needs to catch up. If they want to win, they need 150 straight votes. Home Depot on an absolute tear right now. It does feel like people are preferring to click one, but maybe Amazon's future is a little bit brighter. We'll find out in a little bit here. 40 votes remaining for Home Depot. Amazon's still over 100 votes behind. Not doing the best right now. Is this Twitch or Amazon I'm looking at? Because they are struggling, losing market share as we speak. 15 votes separate Home Depot. 10 votes. 9 votes. Six, 50, I'm actually doing my math wrong, but it's close. And bang! Okay, congratulations uh, to the winner. Uh, it is uh, going to um, uh, Home Depot. And according to the stock guy, <clears throat> here is your read-up of Home Depot. Um, actually, let me do a fancy song.
Uh, here's going on with Home Depot. Here's what's what's going on with Home Depot right now. <clears throat> Home Depot will survive a light recession more after upping their divvy, but a housing crash could put a dent in sales of its last while. Plus, they upped the pay of their employees, which hurts profits. Oh, that's cool, though. Amazon, on the other side, has name recognition. But Amazon Web Services is falling behind Azure in growth, and they are expanding so fast into other sectors, which is costing them money they're not making back. Shopify plus Walmart are also taking a bite out, but again, name recognition and the idea of it being a value pick give them some momentum. Also, I have to take a 20-minute nap. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, enjoy your nap. Enjoy your nap. Catch you later. All right. Those are uh, that's your that's your that's your update. So you guys might have making a you guys might have had a good tick, a good good pick, good pick. Shout out, shout out, Home Depot. All right, let's do our next one. Let's do our next one. What's it gonna be? Phase versus General Dynamics. Who's General Dynamics? General Dynamics Corp. is a global aerospace and defense company which engages in design, engineering, manufacturing to deliver state-of-the-art solutions. It offers a broad portfolio of products and services in business aviation, ship construction and repair, land... Con Wait, is this just a war? Is this a war? Is this private? Is this privatized war? Is this a privatized war company? Is this a military contract company? Is this like Lockheed Martin? It operates for through the follow following segments: aerospace, marine systems. Okay, this is definitely this is definitely. Oh yeah, no. If we get a little further down, oh yeah, we get a little further down. The marine system segment design and builds nuclear-powered submarine surface combatant auxiliary ships for the U.S. Navy, Jones Act ships for commercial customers, as well as uh, builds crude oil and product tankers in container and cargo ships. The combat system segment manufacture land combat solutions such as wheeled and tracked combat vehicles, striker wheeled combat. What is a striker wheeled combat vehicle? Strategy. Years in service, the strikers undergone various survivability upgrades and received kit applications designed to improve the vehicle's ability to withstand attacks. The striker first fielded shortly after the turn of the millennium is an eight-wheeled all-wheel drive armored combat vehicle produced in april 1979 at the general dynamics docks in groton connecticut in presence of government officials was launched a submarine that became a milestone in the navy history the largest submarine built in america this generation Ohio is a third generation boat. In terms of dimensions, it is a record for the US Navy. 170 meter ship with a displacement of about 18,750 tons. However, this is a record only for America. The Soviet Typhoon submarines, which appeared a little later, were monsters with a displacement of 48,000 tons. However, despite the non record size, Okay, so these guys make the F-16 in nuclear submarines, or you could get these guys. Face the fuck up! Oh man! 
Nice. Four hundred thousand dollars tomorrow. Nice. We just thought we could pay our respects. Yep. So we're all game, homie. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah, that was the phase guys walking into GameStop hoping they'd get recognized and then quickly getting who megalold by the cashier. But don't let that fool you because phase stock is thriving. And by thriving, I mean buy low, sell high, baby. Check it out. Check it out. They are at 40 cents right now. All right, since their initial launch, uh, they're down 77%, which isn't, um, oh, oh, 97% since they launched. Okay, that's not, all right, they peaked at about $19, $20. But now they're, now they're 40 cents a pop. So you could get a lot of stock if you got phase for 500 bucks, you know? What do you think, chat? Which one do you get? Vote right now. Okay, it seems like you guys really like the war machine. <laughs> Can't say I think it's a bad idea. It just feels a bit... You know, feels like we rushed to this decision. Yeah, they make an F-16 here, a nuclear war machine there, but FaZe makes art. Okay? Does, does GD have a hand signal? Can GD 360 no scope off of high rise in a search and destroy 1v1 with no regards to the bomb being planted? All right, GD wins. Damn, you guys are being sweatier than I thought you would. You guys are being way sweatier than I thought you would. I think you should just save your money for now. Market's super volatile. CPI comes out TRM morning. But if you do invest, invest in stocks with good dividends. Don't talk to me like this is my decision, Kevy. This is YouTube chat's choice. Talk to them. All right, they bought cats because they like cats. It doesn't go that much cleaner in terms of strategy. NVR is 5K a share. Just saying chat. It doesn't matter if it's 5K a share. I'm just going to buy 0.1 shares. I'm going to buy $500 worth. There's no way to like get me to buy more. I just won't. All right, our next stocks. Dish Network versus American Airlines. Let's take a look at Dish over the past month. Down 25%. Year to date, down 27%. Year down 65%. <sighs> this is, of course, Dish, aka cable satellite, not, excuse me, not cable, satellite television. So not, not necessarily the most popular. The, the other one, American Airlines, down 10% in the past month, up 16% year to date, and up 4% in the past year. With a market cap of 11 billion. American Airlines operates uh, planes. Which one do you want to get? One for Dish, two for American. Reroll? Um, no. Wow, it's a landslide. You just donated to call that guy a loser. <laughs> He's not a loser for trying to give advice. He's probably just someone who, like, does this full time and wants to backseat. He's like someone who's really good at Hollow Knight backseating me, but he trades stocks and feels really confident in his abilities. All right, I don't think we need to we need to push it around. This is going American Airlines, which which many would think is a stupid decision, but I actually think this is your best stock yet. This might be your best stock yet, okay? 
Because here's the thing about planes. They never go down. All right, plane stocks never go down. So let's add that to the list. We are 40% of the way there. Let's get it going. Next stock. Type it in. Whatever stock you got, type it in. All right, here are our next two stocks. In the left corner, we have RT. Is this a nether war company? Is this? And then in the right corner, we have Cummins. Did you pick this because it says come? Raytheon. Raytheon High Energy Laser Missile Scenarios. They uploaded this, by the way. They uploaded this video with really good sound design. <laughs> that looks like a CSGO animation, if that, uh, that was a thing. What? What? That takes down a plane? <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> This is horrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> Yo, they have fought like a 1990s comedy movie. Adam Sandler starring in Raytheon. As if we didn't watch two minutes and 30 seconds of just pure, unadulterated, hypothetical war footage. This video has more views than any video I've ever uploaded, ever. It's got 39 million views. They got Mr. Beast numbers on that. That's crazy. All right. Well, that's Raytheon. We all know what Raytheon is now. Here's the question. What is Cummins? Cummins Company. Cummins. Not exactly known for their YouTube views, are they? Why choose genuine Cummins parts for trucks? The road is long, and there's a lot riding on your ability to deliver. With busy schedules and targets to meet, you need an engine that will go the distance. To maintain the high performance of your Cummins engine, it pays to know the difference between genuine and non-genuine parts, because there is a difference. The difference is in the performance. The if it's not coming, then I'm not going. That's on the house. That's on the fucking house. Prince is in reaching your destination or not, because if your truck is out of commission, so are you. That's why we've tested over 300 non-genuine aftermarket components focusing on critical metallurgical and dimensional standards that can impact a part's function and reliability. Because it's not just our name that's at stake, yours is too. A piston's design is paramount. 
In rigorous tests, the metallurgical composition of non-genuine pistons didn't meet Cummins engineering design standards. This could lead to microfractures and ultimately catastrophic engine failure. That sounds we bad. We also found some non-genuine cylinder liners didn't include vital improvements that had been made to genuine parts. So Why do they keep using the word genuine? Is that just like fancy marketing? Or what makes it genuine? Is it just like we have genuine shit? Such as the anti-polishing ring, designed to scrape carbon deposits from the piston so it can be burned in the next combustion stroke. Without this, carbon buildup can polish away the liner's crosshatch screws, leaving excess oil in the combustion chamber and allowing combustion gases to enter the crankcase. Oh, like third party. Non-genuine piston rings were also found to have coatings and material hardness that may lead to delamination, a process in which layers of the piston ring can break. The head gasket seals the combustion gas and pressure to create all right, Cummins, they work on stuff for trucks. Tested, painted, and brought back to like new condition. Also in a Cummins remanufacturing facility. Why do so many service managers choose recon parts and engines? All right, that's it. Tru they make they make shit for trucks and shit. All right, chat, what are we doing? Are we are we are we are we are we is it war or is it come? Who wins? This is a tough one. Do you want the big flashy lasers that shoot down drones or do you want cum? And I don't know if I know the answer to that. Vote in chat by typing one or two. One for Raytheon, who made that insane video that we saw, or two for Cummins. If it ain't Cummins, you're not going anywhere. That's also on the house. Nah, actually, that one's paid. That one's paid. If you use that, you have to pay. You guys aren't the most ethical investors. You kind of, like, instantly wanted to dump your money into war machines. <laughs> and, like, PepsiCo. That was, like, your big three. Yeah, but we make money. <laughs> There's no recession in war. My God, you guys are cutthroat. You guys are fucking cutthroat. Okay, we have a bit of a race here. Although it's, it's you know, it's, it's a little bit off. They're about 10 points away from each other. We are going to do another race, all right? Whichever of these gets to 700 votes first will be the one I add to my cart. 700 is the magical number. So if you haven't voted, do me a favor. Quickly vote. Hello, hello. Thank you. Hello, hello. I'm on your I'm left and on your right. Please vote. Please vote. It's two for Cummins, which produces engines for big trucks, buses, and one for Raytheon, which produces their private, their private weapons manufacturer. Don't buy Raytheon, please. Your ethics are not my chat's priority, it seems like. These fuckers like two things. Profit and war. <laughs> All right, chat. It has opened up again. What would you like to do? Incoming call for love. Okay. Guy. Bro, trust by me to the moon demand hands. That was intelligible. I think that was Obama saying, bro, trust me by GME. Yeah. Bro, trust me by GME to the moon diamond hands. That's it. Next stocks. Next stocks. Or. Asmal. Or. <laughs> I'm watching the rich neighbors kid. Okay, <laughs> we, need, we need to, hold up, we need to have a talk. <laughs> I, I'm not biased, but I am I am going to read out what each of these are. Well, I'm going to read out what each, what each of these are. So let's start. 
This is ASML, which is a uh, a chip uh, manufacturer. It's a very important uh, job right now. It's a, they manufacture chips. So actually, I, I, honestly, it was pretty fun to go to YouTube. So let's look up ASML. At the center of this big factory in the Netherlands, in the midst of a months long assembly process, there's a revolutionary machine that the whole world has come to rely on. You could see an EUV machine right behind me. The size of a city bus, but working with atomic level precision, these EUV lithography machines are the most expensive step in making every advanced microchip that powers the modern digital age, data centers, cars, and every single iPhone. We are the only provider on the planet of this critical technology. These machines are the only way to print minuscule designs on these chips. They cost up to $200 million, and they're only made by a single company, Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography, or Y'all heard of semiconductors, all right? It's the whole shit with Taiwan. They're like the number one at making semiconductors. I guess Asmol's also making some semiconductors. What the fuck is a semiconductor? I don't really know. I don't really know. I went to a semiconductor factory. I didn't super fucking get it. I didn't super get it. I didn't, they, they, they had a bunch of shit there. Had a, like a freaking, they had like a bunch of small little chips and they're important. They're like, it's so important. Semiconductors are so important. I was like, it's so great. I love that. I love how I love how it sometimes conducts. I don't know. I don't know why it's some kind. Why why not an always conductor? I don't know. Has anyone asked that? Why semi? You know? I've never thought, hey, it's more important to be semi chubbed. But why are we were doing that with conductors? I don't know. It's not my job to know. But it seems important. Everyone else is freaking out, so I'm also gonna freak out for him. So anyway. That's them. Let's check the other people. What was it? It was, sorry, what was the exact? SVB. Yeah, let's just look that up here. SVB. What comes up? Um, SVB. What fallout? What it means for regional banks? The Silicon Valley Bank collapse explains. SVB deposits backstopped as Fed provides loans. Wow. Collapse will have more of a ripple effect on companies for years. <laughs> collapse. Collapse. Will Chinese tech companies suffer? Well, you need to know. Okay. All right. Not doing great. What the US in the SVB Bank? What happened to SVB Bank? That bank was a little bit. Brother, that bank was a bank. No, no, bro. Tell me this. I thought that was English for a lot, and it was not. We have an important update around the recent bank failures in the U.S. After the liquidation of Silvergate Capital and the closing down of Silicon Valley Bank on Friday, the FDIC, Federal Reserve, and Treasury have released a joint statement indicating that all depositor funds will be available on Monday. This includes funds not covered by the FDIC insurance. At the same time, a second regional bank, Signature Bank, known for its crypto-friendly operations, has also been closed and put under FDIC receivership as of Sunday. The same deposit protections apply to Signature Bank customers. This should help commercial customers continue to operate and while there is still fear and concern around contagion with other regional banks this should help to allay the worst of liquidity fears if you want to learn more about the silicon valley bank situation you can check out this video i posted on my channel this past friday we have an important update around the re now i don't even think it's possible to buy sivb i'm assuming that it's impossible because if it was possible it would it would it would you know be kind of foolish however however because they are getting bailed out, it might be possible at some point to buy. So I'm going to let the vote go through. I'm going to make the executive decision. And if the vote goes through and it is possible to buy at some point in the next year, we will buy it. If it is never possible to buy, then we'll see. But first, it starts with a vote. Man, I had so much Indian food and my stomach is so full of freaking
spices and sauces. Votes are in. The winner is Asmol, a semiconductor company. Now get your votes going for the next option, boys. What did you get from the Indian restaurant? I want you to look me up and down and take a guess. Just... Like, let your eyes soak in what my body provides visually and then take a shot in the dark. And I'm willing to guess you get there. <laughs> I believe in your ability to get there because I'm not reinventing the wheel. The only thing you can pronounce, I wouldn't even go that far. I got myself some chicken. Tikka masala. Yes, sir. With some garlic naan. <laughs> Called it a day. I also got one other thing that was actually really delicious, though. Vegetable samosas. Which I thought were Girl Scout cookies, but also turns out to be a delicious uh, spring roll-like texture. All right, next. Here it is. In the left corner we have. Phase again? All right. We didn't get phase. That's fair. Hey. It's fair. That's fair. Phase or Chipotle Mexican Grill. <laughs> reroll? Uh sure, I'll do a reroll. I'll do I'll do no repeats whatsoever. That's fine. All right, you got to you have to submit new things again though. <sighs> All right. Here it is. Our next options. Option number 1. We're halfway through. Liberty Media. And number two, WWE. Okay, let's start with Liberty Media. What is that? Wait, is it is this the one that goes Liberty, 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 Liberty? Research shows people remember ads with a catchy song. No, so that's Liberty Mutual. To help you remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance, here's a little number you'll never forget. Did you know that Liberty Mutual? That's not the one I want. Insurance that won't replace the full value of your new car? Full value of your car. Liberty, 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 Liberty. That's it. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Let me see what J. Cole would do with that, though. Let me just, let's just put him in there. Five Fingers of Death. In all of them are Liberty Mutual remixes. Uh, why the most powerful corporate empire you have never heard of how liberty media rescued formula one what <laughs> all right i'll watch what's up guys and welcome back to wall street millennial 
On this channel, we cover everything related to stocks and investing. Today we're talking about one of the most influential men in the stock market today. But because of his low profile, he's not well known by most investors. This is like an AI has scraped every single billionaire. This is what they look like. <laughs> we're talking about the billionaire media mogul, Dr. John Malone. He founded the conglomerate Liberty Media, which has its tentacles touching all corners of the media industry. When you think about the media industry, you might think of mega corporations like Disney and Comcast, which have strong brand recognition and market caps in the hundreds of billions of dollars. But Liberty is arguably much more powerful. While his company is not well known by the public, John Malone sits at the pinnacle of all moguls and pulls the strings of- No, wrong, wrong, buddy, wrong. All right, can he squat 285 for fucking eight? No, he can't. He ain't standing atop my ass. Put that bitch at the bottom. How's he gonna climb up? The global media can't landscape get up me. from behind the scenes. Nope. He is perhaps the greatest financial engineer of his generation, as he created a convoluted system of tracking stocks and unequal voting rights that even Wall Street analysts have a difficult time understanding. This has given him disproportionate influence over the global media industry. What does he do? For example, he was one of the driving forces behind the recently announced $43 billion Time Warner Discovery merger, which promises to transform the streaming landscape. In this video, we'll explain who John Malone is. We'll ask in history. Created by Dr. John Malone in 19... Malone had struck Liberty meeting sticks in dozens of different businesses. Throughout the 2000s, into a complicated structure, owning sticks in dozens of different businesses. Wait, he owns Discovery? And QVC? And stars, and Sirius XM, and Direct TV. Throughout the 2000s and 2010s, Liberty Media went through multiple transformations, and at one point was owned by AT&T. In 2005, Malone spun off Liberty's non-U.S. assets into Liberty Global, which trades on the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol LBTYA. His other company, Liberty Media mostly owns U.S. assets and is not directly publicly traded on the stock market. Liberty Media has a unique corporate structure, which allows Malone they do F1. to multiply the voting power advisor. The Series B do this. They own F1. They own F1. That's good enough for me. They own F1. And the other one is WWE. And I won't do anything for WWE except show you this. All right, who do you want? Is it Liberty or is it WWE? Man, I want to say death, but that's corny. Oh, we got a tight vote on our hands. We got a tight vote on our hands. All right, what's it going to be, boys? Liberty or WWE, first of 500 votes wins. Get your votes right now. One for Liberty, two for WWE. Go, 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 Slipping twos are falling fast. Seems like Liberty domination. If they can hold on for just 80 more votes. Wait. Drama. Within 1%. Whoa. The WWE. No. 40 votes left. 30 votes left. 20. Wait for the song to end. Oh! WWE wins. Wow. Dramatic ending.
I tried stopping the vote earlier, but the thing was literally deadlocked. It was too close for it to end for whatever reason. Scam? How is it a scam? Who the fuck knows which stock's going to do better in nine months? You guys voted it. What do you want from me? All right. What is your next option, chat? Chatters? Chatties? Um... What is RLX? RLX. So we have RLX or Toyota Motor Company. Now, everybody, I think, is familiar with Toyota. But RLX, I have never heard of. This Chinese stock could moon. What does that mean? Wait, what? What's up, everyone? I am dead inside, and right now I am watching live the space launch from Astro, I'm sorry, the rocket launch, in hopes of seeing the share price rise along with a successful launch. Maybe it'll be successful, maybe not, but it's going to be fun to see, regardless of the outcome, what my portfolio is going to be doing. <laughs> it's, either, it's either going up, going down, staying flat. Oh, some new... Thank you in the water system machine toggle pump full to full. Okay, wait. Five, four. Somebody said, did they forget to plug it in? <laughs> it was Trump. Minutes at oh, the top yeah. Of our Look, yeah. 15 minutes and now it's not going back up again. This LD on. Following no, along. No, no, no scrub. Rocket science is complicated. So tomorrow, bro, then try for more content and reason. Oh. That was weird. Uh, okay, well, let's focus. What the hell is RLX? Because I literally have no idea what this is. So we have a Japanese company and a Chinese company, all right? That's the skinny of it. Now, RLX, what the fuck is it? I'm, like, trying to Google this shit, and I can't find anything. What, what, is, what do they do? They're a leading brand of e-vapor. <laughs> Wait, is this a vape company? In a period of 55 hours starting on the morning of March 22nd, shares in Chinese vaping company RLX Technology collapsed 54%, slashing more than $16 billion from the startup's market cap. The slump continued through the week as investors sold on the news of a potential industry crackdown by China's tobacco regulator and the Securities and Exchange Commission's announcement that it would start enforcing a law to require Chinese listed companies to provide audits or risk being delisted. It was just another twist in the roller coaster history of a company that rose from nothing to become the largest e cigarette brand in China in three years. Just two months prior, it raised $1.4 billion in a blockbuster IPO on the New York Stock Exchange that catapulted four of its co-founders into the ranks of the world's wealthiest. Among them was CEO Kate Wong, 39. One of a record 57 self-made women billionaires from China, Wang was worth $9.1 billion on the day of the IPO, thanks to her 20% stake in RLX. Wait, I thought they sold it for $1.6 billion. How the fuck did she get $9 billion? That... Now worth $2.9 billion, she claims to be utterly unfazed by the stock gyration. Unfazed after losing, losing $7 billion? What a chad! That doesn't bother me, she told Forbes earlier in March, oh my God. noting that she doesn't even have a brokerage account. Every day I focus on my work, which is problem solving. Wang has had her hand- You got a problem and it's you lost $7 billion. There's no way to solve that! ...hands full guiding RLX from an idea in 2017 to a behemoth that has grabbed more than 60% of China's burgeoning e-cigarette market, according to Shanghai-based China Insights Consultancy. Despite growing mistrust of vapes by regulators and a global pandemic that puts vapors and smokers at higher risk, RLX's sales grew 147% to $585 million in 2020, with a small net loss of $20 million. 
That caps off a meteoric rise from the $19 million revenues RLX reported in 2018, its first year of operation. With only slightly more than 2% of China's 308 million smokers using e-cigarettes, compared to nearly a third of the 34 million smokers in the US in 2019, RLX has plenty of runway. This sector will continue to grow at least for the next 20 years, says Tristan de Beauval, executive director and analyst at brokerage firm William O'Neill. Given the size of the population, China will be the next big market. Yet serious threats lie ahead. Okay, well, this is that's your outlook. And then here's their vape. Holy shit, those are some big fucking fires. Tastes like blue seal mentholated cigarette, but more all right. The other one is Toyota. What happens if I look up Toyota? Toyota CEO just quit and said, I don't like where this company's headed. Akio Toyota is out. After serving as president and CEO of Toyota <laughs> Motor Corp. Okay, I thought that was his leaving video. There's no way that's his leaving video. There's no way he left and said onagaishimas and then got fucking ice bucket challenged. Preparation for some 13 years, he's finally resigning. Today, we're talking about why he's stepping down, why he's not passing the family baton to his son, and why Akio Toyota told his successor not to be like him. We'll peer into the heavy pressure and criticism three by surprise, almost like having people have their eyes on the hell man Toyota's got some views all I know is Toyota makes the most cars out of anyone God damn it, dude. Who knew doodling on the side of your schoolwork if you just your two Toyota Supras would just net you 45 million views? Yeesh. All right. Uh, well, chat, the question is, uh, which one are you voting for? Is it Chinese Vape Company 1 or Japanese Car Company 2? Beep, 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 beep. 
All right, that is pretty freaking clear. It's Toyota. Next, chat, get your get your get your shit going. Get your shit going, chat. Buy lots and lots and lots and lots of Rivian. Hit 52 all time Lola Mal. Alice Big Happy B Day to TJ True Love Bud. Rivian? Rivian? Isn't that the car? The electric car? I looked into Rivians and then I saw that they go like fucking 50 feet before you gotta charge it and I thought, fuck that shit. Could we vote on TGNA? It's a stress relief company. If people put it in, what are you, what are you fucking TGNA's founder? Relax. All right, pal. We have in the left corner Costco Wholesale and in the right corner Coca Cola. Two absolute titans. On one hand, Costco, which absolutely fucking crushes. If we take a quick look at their stock right now. In the past month. Okay, they're down. In the past six months. Okay, they're down. Year to date, though, they're up. Pretty pretty pricey stock. We'd get one share. But Coca-Cola is the stock that, 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 that rarely moves. Coke stock in the past year has changed 2%. In the past six months, it's gone down 1%. But they do have dividends. They do have dividends. Any profit Coca-Cola makes, they usually pay out through dividends. All right? So that's the question. Are you guys trying to, one, diversify our portfolio by going with Costco, or two, ride both lines by getting Pepsi and Coke? Start your voting. One for Costco, two for Coke. Let's get the votes going, baby! Ooh, we have an absolute nail-biter Coca-Cola small lead. 2%, 1%. Costco's catching up fast. People believing in Costco. People, people loving their Costco cards. Their membership strategy. Oh, Coca-Cola falling behind fast. The dividend strategy is not appealing to the viewers. We're going to do first to 500. Or actually, we're going to do it at the end of this song. Keep voting, boys. One for Costco, two for Coke. Ooh, that is the end of the song. And I think I'm going to wrap it up. I think this is a Costco, although, you know, it's kind of close. Costco has about a three point, three and a half point lead here. Maybe three point lead. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Sh oh, wait. I said I would wait for 500 votes. Oh, what's happened? The Costco troop is just giving up. Costco clan stopped caring. The Coke crew is carrying. 500 votes. 500 votes on the dot. Bang. Costco wins. 500 votes on the dot. Costco wins. All right, next. Next. I know a Crazy lot of people watching you grow over the last few years to the size you are. One of the best streams out there never fails to make me laugh. Thank you. You're killing it. Thank you. Excited to see what you do in the future. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, all right, next. Petco or Liberty Meat? No, we already did this. Repo. 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 
Sorry, folks. We've already done Liberty. We're not doing it again, folks. Wait. So you're telling me we buy literal weapons of wars, but we draw the line at vapes? Popcorn lung is no joke, all right? Everybody needs lasers that destroy drones in small villages, but nobody needs popcorn lung. <laughs> okay, wow. These could not be more different companies. We're going with British American Tobacco Company or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, a.k.a. TSM. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Wow. Uh, we need to do a little bit of research. So let's look at a YouTube video of each of these companies, starting with British American Tobacco. Uh, oh, wow. We are going beyond tobacco and nicotine. That is kind of confusing. British American tobacco promo video. How do you have a promo video for tobacco? Isn't that like not allowed? Welcome to British American Tobacco Augustov. In this movie, we will be showing you how we work to make sure only TPD-19 compliant products leave our factory. First, we produce the cigarettes. Once the cigarettes are put into packs, a unique code will be printed onto each pack for tracking purposes. What an inspirational song. They, they give you little bits and bouts of cancer. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it. It is the whole thing. Each pack code is scanned to verify the print quality. Packs with clearly readable codes are then packed into outers. and a label with a unique 2D code will be applied to each outer. By scanning all packs and the outer 2D code, a hierarchy is created. Okay, I don't feel like we need to know more. They have a lot of fucking tobacco in them. What's the other one? Money sign TSM. Taiwan. Everyone who's probably trying to invest in Taiwan TSM gets so confused when they find a washed up esports team. <laughs> Chips are in everything, and they've been in short supply since just a few months into the pandemic last year. That's why TSMC. His radical pure play foundry idea continues to pay off. With the opening of a new fab in Taiwan next year, TSMC is in a race with Samsung to make the world's first three nanometer chips, with Intel planning to get there by 2025. Along with cutting edge three and five nanometer, TSMC also makes far larger chips for everything from cars to coffee makers. To understand the different kinds of chips and why nanometers matter, let's look at how they're made. Silicon, an abundant element oh, so now it's good to be small. found in rocks and sand, <laughs> is purified and melted down, then sliced into circular wafers. These wafers are the surface on which chips are built in a grid formation. Each chip on the wafer can have hundreds of tiny layers, each made up of transistors and electrical circuits, <laughs> I had an incel outburst. which determine what the chip can do. The minuscule circuitry is printed on each layer using lithography, extremely precise rays of light. The smaller the width of the transistor gate, 5 nanometer, 3 nanometer. Snooze. All right, chips or uh, cancer sticks? That's your vote here, chat. Which one's it going to be? Bear in mind, we already have a semiconductor. If you wanted to, oh, diversify. All in on semiconductors this year, are we, chat? What is this, Warren Buffett? All right, understood. Call it a day. Next.
What are your options? Throw them in chat. Only I dollar three thousand left. Twenty-seven twenty-eight. Are you literally giving insider trading through TTS with your full Christian name? <laughs> Bang! We have Yum Brands or Spotify. Wait, what is Yum Brands? Yum. That sounds fit. Yum Brands. What's a Yum Brand? Woo! Wait! Oh my god! This is the battle of insider trading. They do KFC and... And then Spotify is another one of my sponsors. I, th each of these are my sponsors. I'm sponsored by Yum Brand and Spotify Tech. Oh. Ooh. All right. Well, for this one, I'll show you this commercial. What? What is it? It's amazing. That's a sandwich. It plays. to double down. That's why we brought back the KFC Double Down Sandwich. Ain't she a beauty? I don't understand. Did he win, like, money? Or Ludwig's Spotify ad. What's your Spotify wrapped? I don't want to... I don't want to tell you. You guys are going to make fun of me. I don't want to talk about it. You guys are going to make fun of me, and I don't want to talk about it. Is it all Masayoshi Takanaka? No, that would be cool, and I would flex about that. It is worse, all right? It, it, it's so embarrassing that I... I don't have a Spotify wrapped because I use Apple Music. <laughs> there, I... <laughs> fucking said it. I... <laughs> Oof, bad ad, bad ad. Now, this has changed. This has changed. Since then, I have actually switched. Because I did a Spotify sponsor in December. I instantly started using Spotify. And since January, I have used Spotify every day. And I've stopped using Apple Music. This is not Cap. I've even used Spotify's daily play playlist to find a new song. And this is my new favorite. I have a new favorite K-pop song. I'm going to play you guys my favorite K-pop song for five seconds before they're going to copy strike me. I even posted it on my Insta story today. I don't know the name of it, so I have to look up the artist. It's not in English. This one. Anyway, it kind of sounds like a like a like a like a like a it's like a romantic French song, but it's it's a, it's actually in Korean. It's tight. This isn't K-pop. It was in a K-pop playlist. I don't know what you want from me. It was in a playlist called K-pop. I don't make the call. The next song was like like a new jeans song. So like they maybe they snuck it in. KFC or Spotify, baby? One for KFC, two for Spotify. All right, this one goes to KFC. Bing, ba bing, ba bing, ba bing. Congratulations, Yum Brand. We are now 75% of the way through chat, and our portfolio is looking actually pretty normy. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty normy. But, you know, maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's not bad. We'll see. 
We will see. Maybe it's got some real bones to it. Anyway, put in your... I want to keep the positivity train going. Thank you. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful role model and content creator. You are the best. I am so excited to see what you do in the future. Who knows, maybe you'll even get some bitches. I don't need bitches. I have a great girlfriend. Back to the polls. We have Rick or BKI. I don't know what either of these are. So let's look it up. RCI Hospitality. Wait. Rick's Cabaret breaks down the business of strip clubs? Wait, I thought this was like a hospital. What? So Large and I love a business that we understand. Is that fair to say, Large? 100%. So if you don't know, what we're trying to do is make a 44% return on $5,000 that we invested, right? So I'm curious, yeah. what would be the reason that we should invest in Rick's Cabaret RCI Holdings? And 44% what time period? One year? One year. We're trying to beat Warren One Buffett's year. returns. Oh, trying to beat Warren Buffett. Well... Uh, if Mark keeps selling off, you're, you're probably on a really good deal. We're going to grow free cash flow for 2022, a clip over 30%. Uh, I believe we'll grow free cash flow per share over 30% again in 2023. Uh, we've made some major acquisitions, 15, 15 acquisitions, or 15 clubs in the last uh, 12 months. We'll trying to buy uh, probably eight or nine more uh, by uh, hopefully close on those by March, maybe sooner. Uh, as we get those acquisitions in, we're going to continue to grow. Our revenue is going to be over 300 million. I believe our free cash flow for, or, I mean, our EBITDA for 2023 is going to be. Over I don't know what the words he's saying is, but this video came out September six months ago. In the past six months, they're up 13 percent. This son of a bitch might be on to something. <laughs> for 100 million, uh, typically we do about 30 uh, percent. Uh, but we've been running higher, 32, 33% um, EBITDA margins uh, overall and about 20 plus percent uh, free cash flow margins. So you get an idea that as we grow and continue to add these locations, we go 330, 340 million uh, run, you know, in 2023, that will put us. Uh, I thought he was going to talk about strip clubs. Joe, I had said how. I'm betting on Americans uh, getting poorer and fatter. So I was kind of looking into some restaurants. Uh, more so like the fast casual chains. And I stayed away from, you know, the Popeye Burger King type ones. And I sort of started to take a, a deep dive into Chipotle. And one of the things that I've totally ignored was you, was was Rick. Because, I mean, you guys are essentially a restaurant stock. I mean, for all intents and purposes, too. P particularly with bombshells popping up all over Texas and whatnot, right? Yeah, I mean, the bombshell. This is what they own. I don't know any of these places. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Bombshells, Kappa, Heartbreakers, Petey's, Country Rock, Diamond Cabaret, La Boheme, Man Mansion, Jaguars Club, Club Onyx, Ricks, Cheetahs. I don't think this is the same Kappa that you guys know. <laughs> They got Tootsies, we got Cabaret East, Silver City Cabaret, Downtown Cabaret, fucking Scarlet's Temptations. All right, well, that's 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 this place. That's this place. That's that's stock one. Stock two is Black Knight Inc., which I'm assuming does metal work. For every loan, lenders, servicers, and borrowers want the same result. A timely, smooth, and compliant journey from start to finish through the loan process. But error-prone manual labor, complicated regulations, audit requirements, changing laws, and operational inefficiencies 
can quickly turn a loan from rewarding to risky. Black Knight Technologies can change that. Black Knight's end-to-end -end origination platforms can support any size, scope, or type of lending operation. For all the services required during origination, Black Knight provides technologies for lead generation and management, workflow, centralized product ordering. Yeah, I'll just start the poll. They are a premier provider of innovative, high-performance software, data, and analytics for mortgage and home equity lending and servicing. That's what their website says. And just to be fair, I, they also introduced default solutions. So... One for Rick, two for Black Knights, chat. And it seems like we have a bit of a landslide. So Rick Hogg. Actually, that's not the name I should say. Rick is going to win this one. And we are entering the danger zone. Just four stocks left in this game competition chat versus Ludwig versus the stock guy to see who over the course of nine months has a better eye for value strip clubs war and semiconductors all you guys are doing is literally coming killing and then creating semiconductors that's it and then also KFC Coming, killing, creating semiconductors, KFC. That's like your big things. And then cat. Finally. I was waiting when this would show up. I knew it would show up. Here it is. This one's going to be interesting. We have a very traditional stock medical properties trust. All right? Not doing the greatest this year. Down 56% in the past year. Year to date, they're down 25%. Medical Properties Trust. What do they do? Let's find out. Is there a non-stock analysis? Medical Properties Trust is a buy first and foremost because right now the valuation couldn't be better. They're down about 52.5% for the year, which has them trading below their book value with a price to book of 0 0.76 and a price to funds from operation of 6.17. Second, the financials on this stock are rock solid. Their revenue has seen very consistent growth across the last 10 years, and so has their adjusted funds from operation, or the AFFO, which is what they use to pay the dividend. And this brings me to the next point. Because their share price has dropped so much, that dividend yield has just skyrocketed it up to double digits, currently sitting at 10.4% with 10 years of consecutive dividend growth. Do you have any shares of MPW in your portfolio? Let me know in the comments. All right. And the other option is GME. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I think GameStop's <laughs> a problem. And... I know the whole world thinks the world's going to crumble tomorrow. Like, you know, a big bank goes down and no one's talking about it. I know we're talking about it. Yeah, I get that. Um, YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, we're it. all talking. Everyone's talking about, talking about it. it. Maybe two channels on TV are talking about it. But I went to the club last night. And there was hundreds of people there popping bottles. Dancing the night away. I mean, there was a, a, a Beastie Boys tribute concert. People just out there yelling out, Brass Monkey, you know, doing all. And I'm just saying to myself, like, they have no idea. <laughs> it's like the meme of the guy at the party, and it's like, they don't know that SVB is collapsing. 
Are you about to be rich? I mean, are you guys? We we're not supposed to dance. <laughs> we're not supposed to get this way. Oh man, so many things line up. You know, we've done a lot of DD over the years, uh, diving into companies and how they're over leveraged and how banks um, are being affected because that's where the money generates from, right? Even the Fed increasing rates and how they don't call it, you know, inflation, they call it transitory. And the guys who hold the stock um, and in popcorn in the bags, which by the way, I'm going to try to buy some. I have people out there really thinking, well, Bed Bath & Beyond, I'll tell you guys about it, right? So I'm going to this funeral. It's um, There's a lot of rich families that'll be there. And when I mean rich families, we're talking about all billionaires, right? I'm going to the Vintage, which is in the top three most prestige country club in the world. It's like the elitist of elitist. And you'll see um, Bill Gates, if he's in town, he lives there. Jim Senegal lives there. John Elway is in town. Um, but there's uh, a lot of families... And Grandma Nina, you guys remember Grandma Nina? Yeah, I do. Um, she used to work at the Vintage um, for these families for 30 years, for a generation. And she was um, she was there. And the, the weird part about it all is her birthday, which didn't even dawn on me, guys. That's the weird part? I tell you, days talk to me, right? I know it's crazy. But, um, well, first, my father's birthday is January 28th which is the day that the stock market halted for GameStop. Right. Grandma Nina's birthday is March 10th, which is the day that GameStop ran up, ran back down. And then, of course, the day that SBV is being announced that they're, um, they're being taken over by, SVB, but yeah. by the FDIC. So all these dates mean something to me, but you know, there's only so many days in the year, of course. Every day can mean something to someone, but I always feel like the universe is talking to me. Let's just start the poll. And we have an absolute war mpw versus gme gme of course game stop the meme stop that can't stop if the dates mean anything to you know that GameStop is going up 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 in a way we've held for two years and we've held for this baby the other medical properties trust they've been going down for the past year year to date six months month five days day but you know the phrase, baby, buy low, sell high. Which one will it be? Chat, get your votes in, get your votes in. I'm going to stop the voting at 600 votes. So if GameStop is at 600 before MPW, I will have GameStop be our stock. If MPW is above GameStop at 600, then MPW be our stock. But 600 is my cutoff. And that's going to come up very fast. So don't wait to vote. And don't yell rigged if GameStop does a magic comeback. If everybody starts clicking twos, they click twos. If you are on Team MPW, then you need to vote. You need your voice to be heard. You need to you need to type ones, okay? It's very simple. One or two. Two or one. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. 100 votes away for GameStop right now. 96 votes. 102 votes. 98 votes for MPW. Neck and neck race. 0.5 away. 0.4 away. Coming down to the wire here. 60 votes off. Seems like it's anybody's game. GameStop loses the lead. 50 votes splitting MPW from joining the other 18 stocks, 17 stocks that we have. Seems like it's almost a sure thing unless GameStop comes back. They are! Wait! GameStop tied 50-50. 600 will do it. Bang! 
GameStop wins by four votes. Holy shit. That was crazy. That was crazy. Wow. Wow. The drama. The drama. Mistake, by the way. Terrible fucking mistake. Nobody will disagree with me on that, I think. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Doubt it. Crazy. The other option didn't even seem bad. It seemed kind of good. But, you know, you make your you make you you make your bed and you lay in it is what they say. I hate this version. And we go to our next. We have 3 stocks left. No. No. BlackRock, are you fucking kidding? BlackRock? Really? You went with BlackRock? You guys have no morals. You guys are in it for the fucking payday. My God. Fucking BlackRock, those sons of bitches. BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager with $10 trillion dollars under management. I'm going to say that again because that number is crazy. That is $10 trillion dollars under management. They buy up every fucking house in a neighborhood and then increase the price of that fucking neighborhood and then rent that shit out. I think BlackRock fucking sucks. Because they make it harder for people to buy homes. I don't know why we should have to compete to buy homes with a goddamn company. Seems crazy to me. I feel like people should buy homes, not companies. If you want like a place to operate a business, go off. But unless you're living in it, fuck off. Crazy. But having said that, BlackRock worth a lot of money. <laughs> they got a lot of assets, right? They're not going anywhere. Very stable as far as most companies nowadays are concerned. Past six months, in fact, they've only lost 2% of their value. Past month, however, they lost 14%. Kind of a lot. What the fuck? Bit of a tough month for BlackRock. The other one, Micron Technology. Micron Technology... Also down 10% in the past month. They are the leading producer of computer memory and computer data storage, including RAM, flash memory, and USB drives. And they're located in Idaho. Huh. The more you know. That's it. They make computer parts. Micron. $30 billion of revenue. Huh. Oh, they make these little SD cards. Yeah, I use those sometimes, I think. Nice. Cool. Oh, they sold Texas Instruments. They, they own that now. They make calculators now. All right, who's it going to be? Don't pretend you have a conscience now, chat. You have literally invested into two war companies in PepsiCo. BlackRock is just another way to make money. Do not lose the bet because your morals. Come on, baby. BlackRock it is. Let's click one. Yes. Maximize profits. Minimize human rights. Fuck yes. One, one, one! Fight, fight, fight! If it's not us, then who? If it's not now, then when? If it's not profits, then what? The fuck are we doing? Go! I do that speech every morning at Mogul Moves. <laughs> Also to the Fall Guys theme.
All right, Chad. It seems though we have it as though we uh we have a pretty set winner here. There is a there is a 15 point differential. So I think this is probably gonna go to Micron. BlackRock unfortunately did not make the cut. Two stocks left. Two stocks left. Put the rest in Doge. No, we're not buying any any crypto coins. First, we have... <laughs> okay. I know as a fact, I know as a fact, you only picked these because the ticker symbol is dog in bros. I know that's the only reason. This is, there's no point in even looking into these companies. It's a waste of our time. This is a simple question. What do you prefer, dog or bros? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I don't know which one I would go for here. Dutch Bros Coffee is pretty good. You guys probably are familiar. I doubt you're familiar with Pro Shares Trust. But which one are we going for here? Where are my dogs at? Where are my bros at? You know what I mean? This is a race. This is a, oh, this is a absolute fight. First one to 700 votes will win. Chat, if you are watching, it is your time to shine. One for dog, two for bros. It's a simple question, a tale as old as time. In one way, your dog is your best bro. But, on the other hand, it's your best bro that stands behind you when you get married. It's a different bro. Hmm. The classic saying is bros before hoes, but is it bros before dogs? We don't know. But you also have that dog in you. <gasps> you do have that dog in you. Oh, true YouTube chat dog in you. Yo. But Saturdays for the bros. But dogs gotta eat. But you have cats, so maybe you also want dog. That way you're not over leveraged on cat. You could diversify. Well, then you should also do it for the bros. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, this is kind of a tough one. 700 votes. We are 185 votes away for bros. 200 votes away for dog. Dog's a little bit far behind right now. But it's under a percent. Under a percent. Dog could make a comeback. One for dog. Two for bro. One dog, two bros. One dog, two bros. What is a dog company? Doesn't matter. Just vote based off which ticker you like more because that's why they were picked in the first place, baby. I see it, I see it now, and now it's found the middle of me. One for, oh, dog is crushing. Dog is now 107 votes away, bros 120 votes. Of course, this is Dutch Bros, the coffee company, if you're unfamiliar. Too sugary for me, but I, I like the drive through They're very nice in the drive throughs They make me feel special. Where are my bros at? Where are my dogs at? It's better than Starbucks? Oh, 100%. Kind of a race to the bottom with that question, though. 40 votes away for dog. I see it now. All of them agree. All right. I think. Wait. I see it. 
Hold up. It's first to 700 votes right now. First to 700 votes. Wait a second. Bros is... Ooh, that was so close. Bros was, I think, less than five votes away. I didn't check, but I saw a dog cross the 700 threshold, which means that dog is going to be the stock that you got. Now, the question is, what the hell is that stock? Money sign dog. Uh, Pro shares short. Oh, this is an EF, uh, EF ETF. I don't understand what the ETF is, but it's an ETF. It's not even a stock, technically. Right? It's basically a collection of holdings, like Barclays, this index, this index, Bank of America, Citibank. It's just a collection of banks, really, for the most part. And then some treasury bills. And I think, however, those perform is how the, the ETF performs. I don't really know. It's a company that it bets against the market and has an IPO. Huh. It's a leveraged short. <laughs> wow. You guys just shorted the market. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay. All right. And you specifically shorted those banks? Was this created like right after SVB? What a what a fucking what a what a diverse portfolio. My gosh. What a what a call right there. All right. Well, this is the last one, chat. So I'm gonna make sure you all have the opportunity to put in the stock that you want to vote on. But this will be our final one. This will round out ten thousand dollars worth of stocks curious what our last one will be here mm. hey mm. Yo. All right, let's take a look at our final two stocks we're going to vote on. It is WeWork or Chewy. Wait, what the hell is Chewy? Chewy. Chewy is, oh, wait, that's the delivery pet supply store. It's an online pet store that delivers to you products for your pets. So we have Chewy. Bit of a tough month. Okay, not a bad year, though. Not a bad year to date. Not a bad year as a whole. But, yeah, not the greatest month. But not, it's been a bad month for most people. Been a bad month for most people. What about WeWork? Not a great day. Not a great five days. Not a great month. Not a great three months. Not a great year. Oh. Well, buy low, sell high, baby. Buy low, sell high. You don't want to buy a stock when it's on the way up. You want to buy a stock when it's on the way down. And I've been getting a lot of commercials for WeWork on TikTok. Anyone else? This is just actually a, an anecdote, but I have been getting a lot of WeWork ads. Going in the office is fun, but it can be so hard to own an office. That's why I use WeWork. I keep seeing like little WeWork ones. All right, chat. What is it going to be? WeWork or Chewy? One for WeWork, two for Chewy.
Yeah, this ain't close. This ain't this ain't fucking close. All right, boys. That wraps up our 20 stocks to review. We have Chewy, the dog company, Dog, the bank shorting company, Micron, the company that makes well actually let's let's switch up this song here. Let's let's switch up this song here. All right, here's our 20 companies that you guys have chosen to represent your portfolio. You have Tesla, car company, PepsiCo, the beverage company, uh, and also a snack company, Roblox, AMD, Caterpillar, the uh, construction manufacturer company. They make big, big trucks. You've seen them. Uh, HD. What the fuck was HD? Oh, Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot, yeah. You have GD, which makes uh, the F-16. Uh, you have... Apple, no, American Airlines, not Apple, American Airlines, that's right, you have Raytheon, you have uh, Semiconductors, WWE, you have Toyota Motor, Costco, TSM, which is another semiconductor, not the esports company, Yum Brands, which is KFC, Rick which is a uh, uh, series of uh, strip clubs, GME, GameStop, Microns, which creates uh, like SD cards, Dog, which is uh, shorting the stock market, and Chewy, which is a dog delivery company. There it is. Bang. There it is. How do you guys feel about your, your, your odds? I feel like I feel like I didn't expect this to happen in that I think this isn't going to be a fun experiment to see who's going to do better. I think you guys are just going to lose me a lot of money. Which maybe I should have seen coming. Do you think I'm going to do better than you? I'm not exactly the stock expert. Although I would like to imagine that I'm smarter than my YouTube chat, my investment portfolio is down um, a lot in the past year. It's down a good amount in the past month. Not doing great around these parts. Where do you buy stocks? Um, have you heard of Robinhood? Like the uh, the old buy, steal from the poor, buy, give to the rich. Anyway, chat, we're going to keep a public listing of how the this portfolio is doing. So hopefully we're going to create a website with auto at some point that will that will basically be this portfolio, how it's doing from today, which is March 13th, the date that we recorded this YouTube video or YouTube stream uh, up until 2024. And then we are going to secretly have me build my portfolio and the stock guy build his portfolio and track those over a similar time period while not revealing how those are doing until 2024. And then we're going to look at all three as well as just the stock market as a whole and how it did over that same time period and compare the, the, the three plus the control. Sound good? All right, see you in nine months. Nine months later. Do, 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 do
Um, all right, chat, stream's not over, although our stock buying segment is over, because I want to play some Nitro Stream Racing. Have chat GPT create a portfolio? Eh, nah. We already do enough AI shit. Plus chat GPT's from September 2021 and before, so, it, it, like, it's, you know what I mean? They don't even have, like, really good stocks in there, like, phase stock. So, like, is it even worth it? I'm thinking no. Mods, can we change title and thumbo? What is Nitro Stream Racing? Okay, so if you guys don't know, I used to do a lot of content with marbles. Unfortunately, marbles only works on Twitch. And I'm one of the people who jumped ship to this small life raft known as YouTube Streaming. And I like YouTube Streaming. I like it a lot. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a wonderful place. But it does have its set of drawbacks. Now, in the death of marbles, a new thing was born. Nitro Stream Racing. A game where the devs reached out to me because they saw that I like to do a lot of marbles. And they said, hey, will you help us, you know, promote this thing? And I said, sure, why the fuck not? Well, so that's that's part of what we're doing here. So, f full disclosure, these guys do give me a little squeeze off the top. But I also like the game because it allows me to do marbles things. Uh, with YouTube chats, you guys. And I think that's good. I think it's a whole good thing. Now, they were in a, a alpha, or, or, or uh, I think an, yeah, I think an alpha before we played that. Uh, but this new version we have is a beta that actually released today, or maybe yesterday. And the new release has a few things. I'm reading it off here. It has a challenger mode where chat can go against bots to unlock tracks in addition to a free-for-all mode. They're also going to give out reward codes since they're running Twitch drops. My chat can't have Twitch drops. They also have race pass, quests, and car equipment, which are all live at game.playnitro.com. So if you go to game.playnitro.com, you can see your race pass, which I imagine is kind of like a, like a game pass or something like that, and what quests help you get XP and stuff, and what car equipment you have. And then all the skins are now in game and in the store because there are specific skins for uh, like streamers. Like I have my own skin. All right, let's see. Can I do a race? Harvest Moon. Well, I can do... Okay, let's do let's do two laps. Oh, I can do a giveaway mode. Oh, that's kind of fun. Wait, let's try the giveaway mode. Let's try the giveaway mode, and we'll give the winner a reward code. Because I actually have some reward codes. So let's try that. Let's do a two-lap giveaway with streamer car on. Play challenger mode to unlock new maps. Ooh. All right. Well, then let's get through this quickly because I'd like to unlock some new maps. Uh, to play, I think you type exclamation point play. Or maybe you don't and I'm wrong. But it seems to be working for everybody. So I think that probably does work. Does that work, chat? That works, right? Grooving bossa nova beat. Harvest oh, Moon. Lake Puzzle Pokemon. Now, I think there's a lottery to actually get in. So if your name pops up on this list here, you don't get guaranteed play. You are chosen 
uh, from this list to play. And I think 250 people are chosen. Tiebacks so make sure join play. Last chance to enter. Lottery in progress. Go to game.playnitro.com to see if you're in. We got some squealing tires. Lol. Damn, y'all got emotes? Y'all are lulling? Wait, I'm in a good spot. Why do I have a basic ass car? It's all right. It's all right. Come on, Ludwig. Come on, Ludwig. Let's do our best. Let's get more of a racing song. Come on, Ludwig. Let's go, baby. Two laps left. We're in 30. Okay. All right. 314. Okay, that's really, that's really loud. It's like the boom vine sound effect. We're actually in 25th place, so we're not doing bad right now. So I kind of need to move my camera maybe down here. And then give it a chat. I'm definitely going to have to turn down explosive sound volume. Wait, right now I'm top 15. Right now I'm top 17. Right now I'm top 20. Right now I'm top 25. Right now I'm top 30. Okay, I think I'm fucked. Come on, Ludwig! Go! Go, baby! Well, I don't think I'm going to win, but we have John Villain in first right now. Close behind is Weeb6942311, who just got knocked out in a quick pass from Errol Siege, who in slow-mo is about to be our winner. Congratulations, Errol Siege. Now, I think I have some reward codes. I'm, Tim, I'm going to give you these reward codes. I don't know if you're able to give them to viewers. Uh, and let's do a community race. Wait, play challenger mode? How do I play challenger mode? Challenger race. Zero out of three wins to unlock. All right, let's unlock a goddamn map chat. Wait, why are there bots? <gasps> oh, no. Is this like Super Smash Bros where it's us versus bots and we have to beat the bots to unlock a new character? And if we lose to the bot, then we don't unlock the character? Chat, you better not fuck this up for us! There's a lot on the line here! No, I didn't change the audio setting. Fuck! All right, all right. So we this is literally us against the machines. So I don't care who you are. If you are a human, I believe in you and I love you more than any machine ever. Come on, Colby! Watch out for that giant mime. Mine. That was loud. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. You probably shouldn't have gone up the ramp, but it's okay because Elwyn has your back. What was that turn? Come on, Rio. Nice. Nice, baby. Come on, Rio. Come on, Rio. Let's go, baby. Lap one. Lap one, and let me tell you, it is only bots behind you, so you better. You. <gasps> what happened? Okay, it's fine. We're doing fine. All right. There's a bot in first. I'm a little bit stressed out about this. I'm a little bit stressed out about this. Second place surely isn't a bot. Third place surely isn't a bot. Fourth place sure. Okay, there we go. Elwin. Okay. Yep. Should have realized. L's in the fucking name. Let's go Aura Blue Life. What is even that? What is this? Dude. Uh, 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 <laughs> Chat, we are not going to lose to bots. If you can use lightning... 
on somebody in first place or something, or if you can attack the bots, you need to do it because we are losing their first, second, third, and fourth right now. Literally, our only hope is that Meigs, who is not doing well. Come on, Meigs. Come on, Meigs. The bots are literally nine of the top ten. Literally top nine. Oh, my God. Wait, Aura Life. Aura Life, you're our only hope. Meigs? <laughs> Wait. Oh, where did you come from? I think you cheated, but I don't care. Sixth place. Honestly, the bots aren't that far ahead. Look, the bot is only in first place by a little bit. Meigs! Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Go, baby. Go. Go, baby. First place. First place. Lock it in. Lock it the fuck in, Meigs. The finish line is right there. Come on. Good shit, Meigs. If you are a winner and you want to get a giveaway, we are giving away a little car or in-game um, in-game visuals. You can uh, you can you can go to the Discord and uh, and message Tim. Only the winners. Don't pretend to be a winner because it won't work. Because Tim will find you and then he'll ban you and then you'll be like, why did I get banned? And it'll, the answer will be kind of obvious. But Meigs, you can go ahead. Next. All right, that's one win. Wait, can I win on any cup? You think? There's no way I have to play the same cup every time. Yeah, let's try this cup. Chad, if you want to play and beat a bot, join up. Exclamation point play to enter. We are booting it up, baby. I love Gussie Gardens. Why are bots in the top 10 only? Are there any humans in this lobby? Oh, ne never never mind. Groovin. Oh. Oh. Simmons. There we go. Come on, Simmons. Oh, what is that? All right, that's okay. It's okay. Bomb cod. All right, watch out for the giant cartoon tornado. Good dodge. Actually, amazing driving. Don't go in the tube because that does shoot you downwards. Yeah, that definitely didn't save you time, though. McScoops, already one lap completed. Good start. Camden Rollins, what? Crypto138. The bot is literally named Crypto. Like, <laughs> is this a secret crypto mine? What are we doing here? Where's my humans? McScoops! Scoops! All right, wait, wait, wait to dodge the sucky suck. Dodge the sucky suck. Nice. All right, wait for the tornado. Yeah, go right through it. I love that. I love that. That's okay, McScoops. You're going to respawn, and you're still going to be in a good position. You're going to re You're gonna respawn. That's a bad fucking thing to happen. Wait, it's okay. Eric's in first. Come on, Eric. Tighten up, baby. Tighten up. That is the wrong way. That is straight up the wrong way. Jesus Christ. This is the third lap. I need somebody to come alive. Bomb cod, it's time to come alive. That is just the opposite. There's no human alive who can drive right now. Crypto 138, can somebody get this guy with the fucking mega lightning? Can somebody mega lightning Crypto 138? Is that possible? Look at this guy. Unimpeded, just driving through the course. They're doing the slow-mo cutscene. When did you get here? You definitely glitched. You were not here. You were not here. How are you here? Oh, we lost to the fucking bots, dude. What the frick? Ah, oh, man. Okay, all right. Well, got to boot it back up. That does not count as a win. I don't think Cloud Chase is our map. Full disclosure, I think Cloud Chase not a good map for us. It's just not a good map for us.
All right, come on, baby. Rush our race. I want 1,000 people on the player list before I even attempt to start this fucking race because I don't want to lose to another goddamn bot again. 1,000 people on this player list, then we start the lottery. I'm wishing you all the best of goddamn luck. I want to see real Zactra in there. I want to see Rio Stro. I want to see Thunders. I want to see Travis Dominic. I want to even see Ludwig in there. Come on! If you're not in the race, you can do exclamation point root, I think, for somebody else. Love that. Love that noise. Where am I? What the fuck is that? Ludwig. All right, I'm starting in 240th place. I'm starting late, but I actually think I'm making a hell of a fucking comeback. Already top 100, even though I started top 200. The thing is, I have tenacity. Come on, Ludwig. Come on, baby. Come on, look at these fucking lines. I'm so clean right now. I'm so clean. Come on. Don't hit a single car here. Don't hit a single car. Almost. Almost. That's off track. Okay. Colin! I love that tenacity, Colin. Hold the lead. Hold the lead. Good speed boost. Watch out for the banana. There was one in the fucking road that you hit. There was literally one in the road. There was, don't hit the second one. There's a second one right behind you. Okay, Leviathan. That was a team kill. Let's try not to team kill here. Can somebody let Colin fucking drive? Let him cook for a second. Jesus. Come on, Colin. Focus. I'm going to stick with you for a little bit because I believe in you. I believe in you, Colin. Don't hit the train. That, okay. I'm done with you. Sorry. What? Wait, that was for sure cheating, but I don't even care. No, how did you get fucked up by driving into him? You rear into him. It's fine. Oh, they got blue shelled. They got blue shelled. Second place. Okay. All right. This is actually not bad for us. Reincarnation. Oh my god. Carnation. You just have to beat the bot in front of you. What, do you, what did you even hit? What did you even hit? Come on. Tighten up! Pass this bot. Pass this fucking bot. Pass this bot and it'll be two humans. <gasps> the armored Churchill's already spamming GG. Dude, don't get cocky. Alright? You know what happens when you get cocky? Talk shit, get hit type beat? You gotta be, you gotta be respectful. Stop GGing. Yeah, look what fucking happens. Look what fucking happens, Armor Churchill. Look what happens, dude. Look, look what happens, dude. Okay, and you are going into the train tunnel. I don't, they, they didn't even develop this part of the game because they thought nobody would go there. That's the wrong way. Come on. Come on. All right, there's all right. It's one more lap. It's one more lap. Who's in first? Who's in first? Reincarnation, currently in second. Oh no, you got hit with a big cloud. Don't hit a car. Good line. That's okay. That lightning was okay. That was that was actually not that bad of a thing for you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right, come on. Tighten up. Tighten up. Reincarnation, I believe in you. Come on. Come on. That... Dad. <gasps> Speed boost. Okay, that was a favorable respawn. Favorable respawn, but you're going to have to jump this gap here and it's going to be tough. Nice. Yeah, you're a little too front heavy. Oh no, the bot's in first. No, something's got to hit this. Something has to hit this bot, please. Please, somebody hit this bot. Bus! Bus! Big bus! Good bus! Okay, reincarnation. Now is your chance. Just dodge the bus. Nice! Nice! Good fucking line, baby. All right, watch out for the train. Wait. Okay. That's not the greatest timing of all time. That's all right. Harmless potatoes also in the air. They had a way better launch than you. Oh, look at that launch. 
They launched through the finish line. That shouldn't even count. That shouldn't count. That's bullshit. They launched. They weren't even driving. Can we get some boots on ground gameplay? What is this fucking advanced warfare bullshit? God damn it. We're one for three. I, I think we run it back on this map. I think we run it back on this map. I think we got a little unlucky. We keep the Sonic R playlist going. We run it back. And we fucking believe. We fucking believe. Man, they, they just went so hard on this whole soundtrack. Is this actually your game? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I work directly with the game devs, and I'm, I'm like, partnered with them. It, more more intimately than, like, like oh, I am sponsored to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for one stream. Like, I'm, I'm literally partnered with them. So the, the more successful the game is, the, the better for me and the better for the devs. We're a married couple. Any word on the game jam? I believe the game jam right now is going through a round of uh, moderator playthroughs. Um, to make sure everyone's following the prompts and, you know, following the rules, yada yada. Wait, hold up, hold up. Ludwig top 55 right now. What if I win it? What if I win it for the humans? You know what they say, if you want a job done right, do it yourself, baby. Come on, Ludwig, get the fuck up. Get up. Get up, come on. This is like the goddamn chef going up for a line cook job. All right, come on. I can do it all. Patisserie, saucier. Okay. Uh, well, I don't do the greatest. Okay. Ugh. Tough job there. Oof. All right. Wow. I'm getting hit a lot. Okay. You know what? Let's just focus on the first place. Marcus! What are you doing? No, no, no. Drive across the grass. What? Are you serious? Drive across the grass up here. Look at the map. That's first place. That's second place. Can somebody hit this goddamn chicken with like 800 blue shells? He's literally on the other side of the intersection from the people in top 10. I need this chicken fucking dead yesterday. Yes, good boss. Yes, good blue shell. Yes, the humans have arrived. We got John Boy and Rocks. A little 1A, 1B. Don't GG and then hit a banana. You know how fucking embarrassing that is as a human? That you GG and then insta hit a banana. Like, come on. Have a little tact. Oh, no. You got boomed. Oh, no. John, boy, you got to hope it goes up. Go up, go up. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is literally rigged. Wait, last name. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no. You got glitched. That's okay. Nicholas got it. Nicholas got it. Nicholas and John Boy are here. I love your videos breaking down baseball. Lap two or three, baby. Just dodge the train and we're good. No train right now. Okay, that, that blue shell might have actually helped you so that you would go in a no train cycle. Nicholas, that's actually a really good launch. Actually a really good launch for us. Eh, not the best launch. Actually, not a bad launch. Yeah, not a bad launch for Nicholas. Come on, Nick. Watch out for the one banana in the... You're eating up the whole fucking lane. Good dodge, robot. Robot plop. We have three humans in top three. We should be good. We actually should be good. You know what? Last lap, three humans in top three. GG. Lol. Lamau. Imagine losing to fucking humans. Couldn't be me.
Tiger Woods with the driver. Yeah, that's on the fucking green, baby. Yes, sir. Humans are back. Not worried about it. Marcus, you get your tushy in the Discord, and you get yourself a new skin. You can either get yourself a rainbow car, a Pronto racer, a Ludwig skin, or a Ludwig car. You know what? Macosaurus, you Why also get your ass get in there. Why picked over people? People get lotteryed out, but bots put in. We're doing challenge mode where we're racing against bots to try to beat the bots. It doesn't count as a win to unlock the courses. We have to only play Destruction Desert. Oh, what a waste. It's right. Destruction Desert's actually our best map. If you don't know if you're in, you can go to, what is it, playnitro.com or something? Go.playnitro.com, I think. Something like that. Right? Chat? Right? Something like that. What place am I starting in right here? These fuckers started me 241st place. Like, I literally in the streamer. Dude, internet setting song for Nintendo 3DS might be, like, one of the craziest beats that they dropped for one of the least used aspects of the 3DS. What were they cooking? Like, and for what? They blew this. Ludwig, what's your favorite food? Honestly? I feel like people lie when they say their favorite food. I feel like people are not honest with themselves on what their favorite food is. I feel like people, when they answer they fa their favorite food, it's, in, like, it's, it's like an idyllic version of it. Either, I feel like the, the answers are two, twofold. One, it's like a respectable, classy food that you get at like a restaurant occasionally. I feel like it's it's like a it's like a like a like a comfort food. Like pizza. Burger. Mac and cheese. But I think if I were to have I think the way I, I parse the question is if I were to have one food. Actually maybe that's too different. Is it fair to say if you had to pick one food for the rest of your life, would that be your favorite food? Or is that a different food? Do you optimize differently if the question is can you pick one food for the rest of your life as opposed to what's your favorite food? Wait, it's over? The bot's fucking won? Chad, how did... First of all, how did he beat it that quickly? Second of all, what happened to you guys? Coconut mall, but you're in the mall. Shoppers, we have a great deal at J.C. Penny. None of this makes me feel about. I think my favorite food, and this is the idyllic one that I tell people, are is lobster rolls. But I think the reason I say lobster rolls is to one, let people know that I'm from New England. And two, because when I go back to New England, I like eating a lobster roll and pretending that nowhere in the world can do it as good as fucking New England, baby. The way we chef up our goddamn lobsters is like nobody else. We go to Legal Seafoods and we eat some fucking fresh oysters. Talking about Maki Mac and how he would have stopped 9-11. reading lobster rolls. 
but that's it, it's probably a fake favorite food. Because I have lobster rolls maybe, maybe two times a year. Like, like pushing it, I have it two times a year. So I don't know if that's actually my favorite. I've never gone out of my way outside of New England to find a lobster roll. Drone car, you keep it up. Drone car, you keep it up. Drone car, and you keep it up. There's a lot of keeping right now to make fun of it. Tonkatsu ramen specifically, I fuck with that heavy. But I don't know if it's my favorite food. about it you are literally sucking down bones like that's what that's what villains do in video games like they 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 drink the bones of their enemies like a broth has to be hearty you're sucking down the bones of animals that's crazy that is rich that's almost evil and then you slurp it. Does Tonkatsu break your pescatarian bet? I didn't tell the other guys, but I did technically have ramen twice without any meat toppings. And I'm pretty sure pork broth would be 100% cheating on a pescatarian diet. Like, I'm not the fucking pescatarian god. But I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to suck down pork broth. Uh, by the way, congrats to the winner. Uh, you can go to the Discord and uh, get a, a cool skin from uh, Tim. Am I right? I think I'm right. That it's definitely cheating. It doesn't matter because I cheated anyway by eating chicken noodle soup. I, if you guys don't know, I was doing pescatarian bet with the yard guys for like three weeks. I broke. I broke on Friday. I had chicken noodle soup and I ate the chicken. But in my defense, I had food poisoning and I literally, you know, even the most innocent of farts would end up as a shit in my pants. So I, I like, I, I took no risks. I got every single ounce of, of usable uh, uh, water out of my body through any vehicle necessary to get rid of whatever was poisoning my insides. Oh, good boost, by the way. Oh, just kidding. Wrong way. I don't know Have what got me sick. Of doing I think it was fried fish. Multiple episodes, Nah, I think that's I'll leave that to Cutie. I feel like he's the she does she does uh she did it something somewhat similar to Master Chef. It was more like without a recipe competition, but it wasn't really Master Chef. But I think that's more she's more cooking. She's more cooking. Games broke, websites broke. Chad, is the website broken for you? 
Press one if website's broken for you. Press two if website works great. Press three if you're not playing, but like you're just having a great time. Press four if you're lurking and that you're mad that I included you with my list of numbers to type in so that you have to actually type something because you're hoping to not type it. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of ones and a lot of fours, which is kind of what I was expecting. How is Sans VT winning after being literally shitted on? Wait, how did you get over that pilot? Quit. You don't show up in the search option for streamers to join. Did I start the race too quick? We'll see what it is. Have you read Promise Neverland? No, I don't read manga. That's for nerds. Except for One Piece, because watching it is a it's it's a it's a it's a it's too much of a It deleted you mid-race. What? Well, either way, good news. The humans are literally nine of the top ten. Fuck the bots. Easy clap. That's three wins. We have a new. Chat, what is your favorite food? Pick a favorite food. Pick a favorite food right now. Pick one. This video has seven views. Steak? Steak? Sushi? Sashimi? Okay, to anyone whose favorite food is sushi or sashimi, I want you to feel fully confident that the sushi at wherever you're at is not that much better or not that much worse, I should say, than the sushi in Japan. Okay, yeah, it does look like my shit broke. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> How did this dude get in? Yeah, it looks like it it looks like it's not working right now. We might have broke the site. I think we are one of the bigger streamers who plays this game, so it is in beta. If it's gonna have issues, it'll be with us. But congratulations, Giga Chad Chat, for breaking the website. Uh we'll take a quick break from the website, let it let it let it let it breathe a little bit. Let it chill a little bit. We might play more tomorrow. We're going to play pretty much every night this week. I want to unlock all the maps. Says the guy in LA. Uh, no, I've had sushi in the East Coast. That was also good. I more so mean just the sushi in Japan's not that much better than sushi that I've had in America. But, like, the ramen was a lot better. And, I, and don't get me wrong. I went to a lot of sushi spots. It wasn't from lack of effort. I think it's just the end of the day. It's like, it's fucking, it's rice and fish. So as long as you have high quality ingredients, that's what make or breaks how good it is. Super Auto Pets, chat, can we, or mods, can we change the title to I am playing chess until I lose? If I lose, the stream ends. We're, we're back to it, boys. We're back to it. If you guys don't know, I am on the road to 1,000 rating on chess.com, specifically with Rapid Games. The goal, as always, is simple. Excuse me, Blitz Games, not Rapid Games, Blitz Games. The goal is simple, 1,000 rating. We're at 857. If I lose, I end the stream. If I win, I keep going. Sound good? All right, let's get to it. It's not going to be one game. I'm actually fucking good at chess. Watch me. Watch me thrive. I'm going to play 3-2. Last time we played 5-0, and I think I'm actually better at 3-2 because I think I'm really good at flagging. It's not something I should admit, but I think it's true. Okay, we're going to play the Scandinavian as white. All right, I'm not going to pressure the queen. I'm actually going gonna, I'm act I'm to activate this guy. See, I don't even need to do this right now. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? How do I how do I take advantage of this? How, I could get here to attack this. How do I do that? Let's do this, and then go here maybe. 
he might go here. So he has to take me, and then I take here. Nice. All right, queen's off the board. And I've activated three pieces. So we're actually in a pretty good spot, and I can castle right away. So I'm pretty happy with how that went. I don't know if that's actually, like, a good move, but I did it. All right, we got our castle. He might castle long. Let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to bring our knight... Oh, wait, no. If I bring my knight up, then he takes. Oof, that was scary. All right, let's bring our rook out then. And let's maybe get our bishop activated. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, let's... Let's go here, maybe. Yeah, let's go here, because if we take, he has to take back with pawn, which fucks up his king pawn. Protects the king. Oh, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking a little bit. In response, he could bring Bishop back. Yeah, so he's watching the stream 100%. Congratulations, buddy. Tatcha, Tatcha. So let's go here. We're attacking twice now. If he takes... We take this while attacking this. He probably takes here. So the interaction would go takes, 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 takes. What do I do? Fuck. I don't have enough time to think. <laughs> okay, let's go... Let's go here. And then we're gonna go here. Okay, he blocks off that option. That's okay, though. Let's bring out this rook. Let's do a couple rook lifts. It looks like he's posturing for a pawn push. Let's push this pawn. This pawn's good because it's three squares away from a knight. A, a pawn three squares away from a knight prevents it from moving. Uh, let's go down here, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to push this pawn up, and then we're going to attack this square. The thumbnail Omega lol. What is it? Is it still the car? Um, okay. So the issue, actually there's no real issue. Wait, I can just take, right? Am I crazy? I'll just take, yeah, thank you. That pawn was protecting this square. I can also take here. He, he left two pieces open with one move. It was actually impressive. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know he could do that. This is a W, this is a W, this is an easy W. Do you listen to New Jeans? I think the New Jeans song is a little... Like, I, I think New Jeans is a good group. I think the New Jeans song that's really popular right now, it, it's like, it's catchy, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It feels like it's one of those songs you're manufactured to love, and I don't love it. And I don't love it. We're going to go here. We're attacking this twice. The knight could go here. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. Defend. Anchor this. All the pawns have passed it, so no pawn can attack it. Oh. Hey, what is this? Oh, man. Sonic R. New Jeans has some bangers. Would you describe yourself as someone who likes to get pegged? I wouldn't. I wouldn't describe myself like that, no. You have to really like getting pegged if you describe yourself as someone like that, right? Like, like... Because not only do you like getting pegged, you describe yourself as someone who likes getting pegged. Oh, I missed that! 
I missed that. Okay, this is okay. So we're gonna push forward with a check. Oh no. Fuck me. Fuck me. I'm falling apart. Fucking shit. Fuck. Shit. 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 Fuck. Shit. Shit. Son of a bitch. Fuck. No. Ah. Ah. Why is he playing so well? He's fucking 800 rated. Eat shit. Oh man, I fucking hate 800. Fucking shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck, man. Shit. Yes. Oh my god, justice in our cruel, cruel world. Man, I've played like a little nasty, little nasty boy. Man, look at that. I played perfect. Oh, was I supposed to just do this? Oh, I was supposed to go here? Oh, so then I could go here. Because right now, King can't move here. Here. Here, here, or here. So the King's actually stuck. So if I just check the King, I win. <gasps> oh. That makes sense. God, what a fucking W, baby. What a fucking W, baby. He's back. He's back. Hold up. Let's do a quick analysis. 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 All right. We played all book moves. That was a mistake. Okay, well, it got the queen off the board, which is all I wanted. So, what do you want from me? That was a mistake. Okay, then I started playing perfect. Every move calculated. Beautiful. Literally, play. I actually played perfect for a stretch. That was a mistake. I should have gone here. I should have gone here. I, sh I should have pushed this pawn up. That way, oh my god, then I would have been cooking. That's actually so true. What a game that was. What a fucking game that was. That game was insane. Okay, okay, chat. Chat, there is a new prediction. Mods, if you can make a prediction. New prediction. Who wins, me or my opponent? Doom, doom, doom. I'm going to go with the Dutch defense. It's already closed. Okay, that's okay. Well, the predictions are already done then. I don't play with the Dutch well, but I know the...
I've never seen this move before. This motherfucker's going off right now. This son of a bitch is going crazy. This motherfucker's wild. This guy's got no rhyme or reason. This queen is scary. I don't like him at all. I don't mind trading. I'm so scared right now, I could fucking cry. I can check here. I can no longer check there. Oh, I fell right for a stupid fucking trap. I'm such a fucking dumb piece of shit. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's right, I'm winning on time. Time. Look alive, Ludwig. Look alive. Attack the knight? Or attack the rook? Yes, this is actually such a good plan. See, I was kind of scared of that move. Okay, defend. I can always go here if I need to. We could go bang, bang. Let's go bang, bang. But he's going to go here. Fuck. Do I take? I don't think I should. I shouldn't take. Let's keep the board complicated.
We're winning on time. We're winning on time. We're winning on time. We're winning on time. <gasps> what was that? What the fuck was that shit? Fucker! You fucker! You literal fucker, dude! You fucker! You absolute fucker! What the fuck, man? God, I thought we were fucking friends! Shit! Fuck! Shit! What was that about? I knew you'd miss that! Yes! Yes! You flagging son of a bitch. Fucker. War's not over yet. War's not over yet. It's alright. I got all the time in the world, baby. I'm a fucking champion right now. I'm a fucking champion right now. Yep. 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 Walk it all the way home. Walk it all the way home. soak in for a little bit I'm just gonna take my 50 seconds hey hey you wanted to flag me i got 45 seconds of like i'm just gonna chill here for a little bit just drink my san pellegrino <sighs> that's bad manners yeah that's right yeah i under promoted and now i'm gonna make the guy wait 45 seconds because he flagged me down a full rook and in a in a, a, a fucking night yeah. And I hope and I hope this ruins Big Chunga's 428's night a little bit. Yeah, I'm toxic. I'm going to wait till the last second. He's going to get a little hope that I fuck up somewhere at 5 seconds. But I won't. Bitch. Feels great, feels great, feels great, feels great, feels great, feels good, feels good. I won, I won, I'm better, I'm better, yay. Okay, analysis.
Oh wow, looks like he was really winning for a while and then started fucking losing! Okay, this opening I've never done in my life, but like I've done the Dutch, but I've never done this specific version. This has to be bad, right? Okay, if I had to retry in this exact position, I think I take? Okay, that's not the best move. Uh, I push this pawn forward. Okay. Oh, that was the last move that I had to work on. Okay, great. Okay, new game, new game. Oh, the Karo Khan. I like to play the adva advanced Karo Khan with D4, E5. Which kind of pivots into a, perhaps an Alapin. The fuck? What the fuck is going on? No! You little bitch! You little bitch, bitch! Fuck! You shitter, fucking bitch! Son of a dick! What a clever girl! Fuck! So hard to be mad at the song play, though. All right, well, I'm down a whole ass piece because this guy knew the fucking perfect Karo Kano, but I'm that literal piece of shit. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Wait, I gotta move this queen so I can castle. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ski dad dole. Be gone now. Goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. Get out of here. Get lost. Well, okay, really? Really? Childish. I said... Get out of here! Get lost! Are you fucking kidding me? How deep into my Kurtusi are you gonna go? My Chutusi is so full. Really? That's like not even a bad move? Really? Get the frick out, dude! I don't want you here! Uh, now we take. No, we can't. This can't be good for you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can, you can check. Fuck. Should I take here? It takes, takes. Oh shit. Okay, hold up. What if I do this? And then he goes here. Then I take backwards. If he goes here, then I take... Right? I don't have enough time. I'm literally down a minute. Focus. Fast. Yeah, bitch. I knew you were doing that. It was obvious.
here. I could force a draw. Check here. Pawn or knight goes. Let's just draw. Fuck your stupid pre-built opening. You you lost. Because I'm forcing you to draw. It's okay. Not a loss. The stream said if I lose, the stream ends. That's not a loss. Draw is obviously not a loss. Everyone knows this. I'll take my draw. I was down a piece. It's checkmate. Uh, it's not checkmate, but it is wildly winning. <laughs> Uh, the correct move was what? This? Hold up, hold up. If he's here, is the correct move this? No, that's a terrible move. I'm supposed to go here, and then presumably here? Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Let's, let's do a review. Let's do a review. Let's do a review. Okay, retry. Is it here? Okay, and then what happens? And then black's best move is go here. And then I check here. And then he goes here. What? This doesn't... Okay, and then I check there. None of this seems like it's helpful. What, what, what is the best thing to do? Am I smoking reef? Okay, I let's say I get in this spot right here. He makes this blunder. I check. I find my great move. I sacrifice my rook, which I get back instantly. He goes here. I check by taking this. He goes here. I check here. He goes here. I check here. He goes he, here. I check here. He goes here. I check with bishop. Is that how I get out of the loop? And then... If he were to go there, then I have checkmate in one. Okay. Right. So he has to sacrifice the queen. Okay, so it turns out I was really close, but I couldn't figure it out. But I don't mind. I don't mind. Hey. I didn't lose, and I came back after a devastating Karo Khan blow. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind learning. If that was my biggest mistake today, learning. Excuse me. Please. Quiet down, everyone. And also, that position's so weird, because I, 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 like, he has to make, like, one move in particular, I and I have to, like, keep forcing weird... I don't know. That, that was weird. my fellow juicers who might find this audio... I know I'm Pepe Pains. It's not my fault I watch Ludwig. Like the, like, the, like the tires, Ludwig had a good year. Bubbles to kombucha. Let's review the past before we zoom into the future. The YouTube tutor with the few screws loose who does doo -doos on the competition. T food of Buddha. Ludwig, king of the Zuma. Need a new the doo doo blow up like Vesuvius. Tick tock boom. Woo! The stealing from Jeopardy and family feud. Of Sigma male with that reflection in the scale. Uber. Elwig. Loser. Ludwin. I think that's right. I think you're supposed to do that in the Dutch. By leeching off the goat who could call him Chupacabra. He knows, yep, speaker looking head ass. I'm dead ass. Oh. That painful shit's funny for a dollar store, Steve. Oh, we know you think the Lions would win. You're smoking reef, roll the bloopers low. They've never even been to the Super Bowl. Lions are yeah, I got the stupid jokes. I'll try to keep them short. Like tax evader, pimple face, and incest baby. Excavate him. How do you do that with your fingers? Premature ejaculation. Five foot eight plus L plus ratio. Plus now the hood watches Aiden Ross. For Channing Tatum at Twitch. Oh, fuck. YouTube. I'm in YouTube. Okay. The Channing Tatum, a YouTube. Ooh. He made a decision between the two. It's like choosing between Lapunny or Mute. Too lot, it's funny, but true. true. You've got one hell of a dumpy, and you're the jumping like a general with how many salutes. This is not a diss track. This is not a love song. This is just a something, something to which you can bump along. This is just a one take wonder, wonder where he comes from. This is just a whatever comes in my head is song song. This is not a diss track. This is not where do a I go? Song. This is just a something, something to this which you can bump so along. This position so fucking annoying. Wait. Wonder, wonder where he comes from. This is just a love. Song. This is just a love song. 
you narrate your vids like Blue's Clues, rack up a few booze. So back to the studio, vids are 10 out of 10, but that's a ranking by views, dude. Now what could you do? Open up Photoshop and pull off some voodoo. Change your thumbnail title, must have made a deal with No, this is bad. This shit's a miracle rebel and making brilliant from terrible. It's just a quick little variable. When there's a will, there's a way, and you've got the will like it's feral. Plus your buffer shit probably make the rock feel like a pebble. Led after your appendectomy, they said he's a hero, be careful just as they lifted you over. Thank God. Yep, I know, I know it's preparation, not preparal. I get it. I'm sorry, I don't have an English degree. At least I didn't lose 50k to a zero I didn't see. Oh. I am not your friend, I am not your enemy, I'm just a fan. With more talent than Simon Cal could comprehend. But no idea how to use it, so I write this out in pen. And you know I know you know I owe my style to Eminem. This is not a diss track, this is not a love song. This is just a something something to which you can bump along. Oh this my queen! Wonder, wonder where he comes from. This is just a whatever comes in my head is some song. This is not a diss track, this is not a love song. This is just a something something to which you can bump along. This is just a one take wonder, wonder where he comes from. This is just a love song. This is just a love song. G G E Z. Your opponent types that. No wonder you're stuck in plat three. Huh. We need P P. You yell at your chat on your hundredth run of platinum's E Lee. Four seems the only games you easily yeah. beat. All yeah. take a Wolf yeah. Creek, Wall Street kind of freak. If I recall yeah. games you yeah. wanna tear out your yeah. teeth for, and if you think you ball, you need propitio. Oh. C'est magnifique. He'll critique. Your French, which he barely can speak or read, he's balls deep in the source, he's falling asleep at the wheel. Not in this car. Hey. Do you really want to drive the same vehicle as Keemstar? Still much really got the key to scheming, seems the streaming scene is teeming. Since 2018, we've been eating from mash to merely the fact is he'll leave the gap when he hangs up the hat or be taken aback. It's inevitable that won't detract from the fact he's incredible. The impact that he's had on the platform is tenable. Ten out of tenable. This is not a diss track, this is not a love song. This is just a something, something to which you can bump along. This is just a one take wonder, wonder where he comes from. This is just a whatever comes in my head is song. Song. This is not a diss track, this is not a love song This is just a something something to which you can bump along This is just a one take wonder wonder where he comes from This is just a love song This is just a love song A grade on social blader, OT the infiltrator Yard creator, English major, admit that automated major DMC a narca trader, cutie laugh imitator Cars bed embrace the pookie vibe, a spectator Ninja hater, market vapes, the kids are nader Sigma mailer, mobile mailer Crop persona, that's thumbnailer, slime frustrator YouTube service, terms terminator, b-day, a puff mainer, dominator Nation dominator, need toilet paper. Wait, I'm not done. I got a secret man between me and you, fella, that whenever I want, I could throw it in the cellar. I miss the old Ludwig playing with his dick like my phone call Ludwig, trying to get his pet to give his nose like Ludwig, ask him on a pump, she's a snow bitch Ludwig. I hate the new Ludwig, pays more money like a loser Ludwig, no longer funny, it's the move kill Ludwig, where's gonna prom on a scooter Ludwig, now will he does it go rock climbing on these catches, COVID and watches One Piece releases apparel and shit. Where's the Lud with the barrel of dicks? Where's the Lud with the stand up crew with theater sports with the bank it humor screw Ludlock? I want Lud. Locker. Where's the lot who gets cool big popper? Tycoon tactics, mogul moves. I miss lot in the vocal booth. Little black spider chilling in my room. Don't mind me when I beat him with this broom. Beat him with this broom. Beat him with this broom. Don't mind me when I'm kicking Fucker, were you waiting for that, you fucking piece of shit? Fucker, I fucking hate you. Fuck, shit, fuck, dick, fuck, 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 this. Comedy is here on his arrival, Ludwig. Top of his year in the choir, Ludwig. I miss the preschool, Ludwig. Full on his knees being gleeful. God, was he shit? Fuck, 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 you're fucking annoying me. Thanks, Ludwig. For all the free entertainment. Shit. This is just a one take wonder wonder where he comes Gives me a nice just excuse to comes in my head is so focus this is some of my creative juices. This is just hey Lord, something, something to which you can congrats on Streamer this of the Year. Wonder, wonder where he comes Until from. the next song. Yeah, this Peace. is just a love song. We, we, we can win our time. We can win our time. We can, we, we, uh, we can win our time.
I'm fucking breaking your ankles. Shit. 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 Fuck. Fuck. This is so fucking cringe. Fuck. Fuck me. No, fuck me, I was so close. <sighs> Shit, god damn it, I fucking hate fucking 800 level players. God damn it, I fucking hate them. I just can't beat them, I just can't beat them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. God damn it, I choke so hard at the end. Oh man. Man, I don't know if I should have traded. I think trading the Rooks was bad. <gasps> oh, man, where'd I go wrong? I don't know how to play with a single knight. It's so hard. I shouldn't have put my king so to the right. Oh, man, I shouldn't have put my king so far to the right, dude. Man, oh, God, it's so fucked. All right, see you later. God damn it, I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate... I. And the thing is, I'm so good at the other versions of chess. A 1,300 rated rapid, 1,100 rated bullet, 800 blitz. What's up with blitz? The 800s and blitz are amazing. They get to 10 minutes and they start shit in the bed. They get to one minute and they don't know how to fucking move a piece. But in blitz, they're gods. One day. One day. One day I'll get there. All right, chat, I'll be live tomorrow with some stream stuff. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be a stream, and I don't, it'll be live. Um, uh, don't play incremental time. Well, dude, I don't know. I did 5-0, and I lost on my second game the last time I did if I lose the stream ends. This time I did 3-2, I went 2-1-1. One, and one. Two wins, a draw, and a, and a loss. Probably should have won the draw, but that's okay. So, and then I went 3-0 when I lost my first one. So I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm lost. Honestly, I, I, this account, I, I, I'm hard stuck. I mean, I'm in ELO hell, bro. I'm getting fucked in ELO hell. All right, anyway, thank you all for watching, boys. I am going to leave this stream, but I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Uh, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for some fun stream stuff. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be. See you later, guys. Good night. Peace. Just join. Well, hey, I've been live four hours, man. That's, you know, just tune in earlier. I always tag my Discord, discord.gg slash Ludwig. Good night.